Live. Hey. Hello. How's everyone doing? Yeah. We're gonna give, we'll it give a everyone sec. a few moments, yeah, like we'll like my, we always do. My ears are not on straight. But happy Sunday, everyone yes, who happy is Sunday. here already. Hope you're all having or have had a good weekend. It's kind of almost over. It's very warm. It is. I don't know about everyone else, but here it is really getting muggy and I hate it. It's it horrible. It is. It's very <laughs> muggy. I gave you a haircut as yes, well Yes, I'm sure people would have noticed. Of course, of course. I think you did an extremely good it's job. not too bad. I think it's better than not too bad. For a non-hairdresser, it's not too bad. I think it's good. Yes, it is. Cassandra <laughs> is very hot. Not loving it. Oh, something hanging off our light. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, now I've made it brighter. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> What the heck? There we go. There we go. Um, yes, it is very, very muggy. It is. Um, straight away, people are asking about Animal Crossing in detail. So <laughs> <laughs> my tripod finally arrived today because I needed like a, a proper overhead tripod. And it's it kept arriving in several different parts. So finally... It was so weird, wasn't it? You yeah, had like it was weird. the clamp and then the arm and then there's like this little adapter thing as I well. Know. But anyway, I now have it. So I will probably film... Well, no, I will film something tomorrow. And it shouldn't really require a whole bunch of editing or anything, so no. I would imagine it'll be up on... Well, maybe, maybe I'll put it up tomorrow or Tuesday, but I do have a weekly vlog that will also be going up this week. So maybe Animal Crossing video on Tuesday and regular video Wednesday, maybe. Something we'll like that. Yes. We had some fun creating the channel art, didn't we? Yes, we that did. Yeah, good. so that was good. So that'll be coming soon. And yes, April Ian is back. He's feeling a lot better today. He was yes. not feeling good the other day. No, I really was not well on Friday. I think it must have been something that I ate. Yeah. I, po I possibly ate too much. I think that might have been what it was. Maybe. But yeah, after we had our, <laughs> our family call, I yeah. felt extremely unwell. You did, yes. Mm. Could be the heat as well. Uh, people are asking about your ears, of course. Yes, Becky made these. So um, unfortunately, you can't but get them anywhere. But I love them so much. They're my rose gold ones. Love them. Um, Lisa saying naughty and I assume that's in reference to eating too much. Yes. Yeah, it's it's one of my most common yeah. sins and mistakes. Not great, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, so, are we going to visit family tomorrow? Groups of six now allowed in gardens. Um, no, actually, because our families don't live near us. So no. my parents are even further away. Ian's family yeah. are like several hours away. Um, I did have a social distant walk and um, park visit with Becky today, um, which is already allowed just like one person from one other household. And it was so nice to see her. So that was amazing. And um, we took our switches and played a bit of Animal Crossing mm. at a distance, so that was really good. <laughs> no, it was nice, and I got to speak to Becky over the balcony yes, as well. Yes, yeah, you really did. Nice. So it was really, really nice to see her. Um, have I seen Charlotte Ruff's vlog cutting her boyfriend's hair? I've never laughed so hard. No, oh. I haven't. I actually haven't seen anybody's um, uh, Corrin trim videos, because they, they were sort of a big thing at first, and I think now everyone's like, oh, it's pretty normal cutting, yeah. cutting people's well, hair. You're either but... cutting each other's hair, or you're not getting haircuts. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's one or the other. So, uh, yeah, I need to, I'll have to watch that if it's funny. Did it go wrong? <laughs> Kim says you have to watch it. Okay, okay, we'll check that out. I'll check that out. Uh, Holly says that they love the most recent reaction vlog and that I'm so funny in it. Ah, there we go, there you go. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. Like, intentionally funny, not just you spend the whole time laughing at me, presumably. <laughs> uh, Kim says so funny I couldn't breathe. What? Oh, my goodness. Is it bad that I can't remember what was so funny about the most recent one? Maybe it was us talking about having some kind of domestic at the top of the world lounge, perhaps. Um, oh yeah, it could, have, it could have been my moods. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, did I manage to get booked into the hairdressers? I actually haven't messaged my hairdresser yet, so I must do that. Because um, I do want to uh, make sure that I get my extensions mm -hmm. put back in at some point. Oh, we've got oh, a moth. Oh, there's a moth. Ew, I hate moths. It's okay. Oh my god. It's flown away. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I really, really do not like those. Uh, Megan was asking if we went to Disney on our honeymoon, which yes, we yes, did. Yes, we did. Yeah, it was amazing. It was only our second trip together. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh yes, mug, I've got the, oh, yes. uh, um, what am I trying to say? Up. up. Yes, yeah. the up mug today. I've got basketball mug. <laughs> um, oh, this is a good question. Anthony says, what have we enjoyed the most being in lockdown and what have we learned about ourselves? Ooh, um, let me think. What have we enjoyed the most? I mean, not having to, sorry, I'm trying to move this cable without <laughs> kicking the thing. Um, you didn't need to know that. Um... I've enjoyed not having to, like, go to the office. 
for work. Yeah, you've like, quite enjoyed that. I have still been working, which I'm very fortunate mm. that I'm still in work. A lot of people aren't. Um, but yeah, it's been nice not having to like rush around anywhere. It's been mm. like a lot of these things are negatives as well because it means we haven't been able to go and see people. Yeah. Which, you know, it's yeah. But I, I think that's probably one of the things I've enjoyed. Yeah. And spending more time with you. Oh, Yeah, same. I think um, for me, actually, it's ha it's having time to do other things. So most of what I do is either editing or planning Disney trips or something like that, which I love. What you've done is you've taken this new block of time that you've discovered and you've entirely filled it with Animal Crossing. Of course, and that's what I was <laughs> going to say. I have enjoyed Animal Crossing, yeah. I'm not going to lie. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, it's amazing. As, despite what I might say to you sometimes about how much Animal yeah. Crossing you're playing. I just love it. And um, on that note, Laura is saying she caught the oarfish today. It's disgusting. Isn't it just? Although, it's a good thing you caught it today, Laura, because it's going away. Yeah. It's out of season as of tomorrow, I think. So, however, you were watching a YouTube video earlier of someone, and they caught a thing that was potentially even more disgusting than the oarfish. I would say it was as disgusting as it the was. Oarfish. Like, how would I describe it? It was like fish coloured at the front, really scaly, but then it went like black and red at the back, oh, I and don't it just know. looked horrible. It wasn't quite as bad as the oarfish. It, but it was is pretty gross. Horrible. I don't know. It's gross. All well, cams hit five stars on their island. Nice. nice. Mine actually went back down to four because I've been working on a project Oops. where I had to drop a whole load of stuff on the floor and leave it there for a while. And Isabel's now told me that my island is too cluttered. So I've cleared everything and fingers crossed it goes back up. But I'm not too worried. Like I've had the five star status and got my gold watering can, so I'm good. Oh, Kathleen's talking about the launch yesterday, which was yes, very exciting. We did see it. We loved it. It was amazing. It's unbelievable. You forget that it's been like nine years since there's been a launch, mm. like a, 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 a crude launch. Yeah. Like it's a really big deal. Like this is a new a new era of space travel, right? With the the private sector handling launch to low orbit and then yeah. NASA dealing with the long range stuff. It's, it's very cool. Very exciting. I didn't get to watch any of the, cause they docked with the ISS today and mm -hmm. obviously started doing all their stuff. I did not get to watch any of that, but we watched the launch and it was amazing. Yeah. The thing I love the most about the, um, uh, what's it called? The dragon and then the rocket is a, oh my goodness, what are they called? Someone will tell me in the chat. Um, <laughs> is it something five? Anyway, the uh, first stage boosters land themselves again. Mm. I just think that's amazing. You know, you think about the space shuttle and it just jettisons the, the fuel tank off and it just pff, goes in the sea, I guess. I mean, yeah. These have their own propulsion. Mm. They fall back. Falcon. Thank you, Eloise. The Falcon. <laughs> and they, they do a controlled landing. They land upright and just... Then you use them again. I just, think, cool. I just think that's amazing. It I is. love all this stuff. It is very, very cool. Uh, oh, Carolyn said, watch them docking today. They've named it Endeavour. Oh, oh, that's cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> we Amy, both laughing yeah, at Amy's comment. Definitely. So yeah, Amy says it makes her laugh that it took less time for a rocket to go into actual space than it did for Disney to open up Space 220. That is a true story, Amy. I mean, now, who knows when that restaurant is opening? Let's not even... Uh... Mm. think how long that's going to be. <laughs> Victoria's saying it was so good to watch and she watched the docking today as well. It brought out her in a nerd. Yeah. Yeah, I just think it's just mind-blowing. I mean, it, it's not even the launch. It's those first few minutes after launch when they said, oh, it's going to take nine minutes to get into low Earth orbit. And you mm. just think... You think about what that means Nine and you're, minutes, you're yeah. looking at the telemetry and it's like, okay, they're going 400 miles an hour, 500 miles an hour. Before you know it, they go 3,000 miles an hour, 4,000 miles an hour. It's just incomprehensible engineering yeah. and, and just amazing. It is mind-blowing. It's awesome. Anyway, this is not NASA in detail or no. SpaceX in detail. <laughs> so. um, oh, April grew up in Orlando, so watched launches at Cape Can Canaveral when she was young. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. That is amazing. Um, sorry, just having a look at uh, these comments. Amy's saying, can we say hi to her and her mum, Philippa? Hi, hi, Amy and Philippa. Next channel. <laughs> I think this three is going to be enough. Yeah. Crazy. I definitely don't have time for a channel. <laughs> Deesa a moment ago was saying that she doesn't like the fish in Animal Crossing and mainly catches the bugs. Mm. I agree. I hate fish, but I will say, Deesa, if you want the big money, that's where the fish come in. Yeah, unfortunately, the oarfish are one of the most valuable. Yeah, aren't they? so definitely if you want more money in your 
like in your game then fish are good anyway moving on from animal crossing <laughs> megan says you've really opened our eyes to the different foods available in disney thank you great tips well that's good they say you know write about what you know yes and we we know food we know our disney snacks that is for sure <laughs> i do love a disney snack um, uh, um, Megan wants to know how many subs I'm on. I don't know. Let me see. 134. Oh, check see? you out. Catching you. Catching <laughs> you. It'd be 50k before you know yeah, it. Yeah, it definitely will. <laughs> um, sorry, I was going to read one there and I've lost it. Gina's saying that uh, it's incredible that the SpaceX astronaut helmets are made on 3D printers. That is crazy. I actually didn't know that. That yeah, is very cool. That is mad. I've got something coming in the post that's been 3D printed. Oh, nice. That sounds really... Um, vague. Vague yeah. and odd now. It's, a, it's so sad. It's for my VR, for my Oculus Quest. I play this table tennis game, which again sounds really lame, but it's <laughs> freaking cool. It's so realistic. But what I'm getting is basically a paddle that you can put the controller into so that you can actually feel like you're playing with a table. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very, very good. <laughs> um, Laura's making 15 pairs of ears tonight. Oh, wow. That's a lot, Laura. Good luck. Hope it's going good. Good work. Will there be a quiz tonight? Yes, Tara, there will you be. You have done a quiz, yes, haven't you? Yes, I have done a quiz. I didn't do one the other day only because um, there was a lot to talk about with all the announcements and everything. So, yes, there will be a quiz tonight. Um, how long am I planning to stay at Disney next time? So the next trip I have booked, obviously I don't know if I'm going to be able to go, is in July, and that's for 10 nights. Then I have three weeks booked in September and eight nights in October. So nice. that's the, the lineup, but it depends as whether... It as it T stands. As it stands, yeah, exactly. It depends whether or not I can actually get there. Oh, and he says, like, the Wii tennis racket. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, kind of like slightly that. more sophisticated. Yeah. Uh, it's really cunning, actually. It's really impressive the way the person has designed it, because it's just a design someone put up on um, Thingiverse, which is, like, a big website full of 3D printing designs. Mm. And it's designed so that once you've put the controller in it, it has the same overall weight and centre of gravity as most real table tennis paddles what i think that's cool wow um, <laughs> and yes it does have a wrist strap you use the the wrist strap that's on the controller so that you don't throw it into your tv i've not had any mishaps yet with the vr no, i would haven't. have thought that i would have like punched something by now that is true but i haven't played either of the boxing games <laughs> so that might be why um holly has had all her adrs for september cancelled today yes yeah. Um, it, that, it is a massive bummer and when you have booked all of these things it does seem so annoying and horrible having them taken away. Do bear in mind though that just because they're cancelling them all it doesn't mean that there won't be any fast pass for the rest of the year, it yeah. doesn't mean there won't be dining reservations, it just means you will have to make them again. Yes. Which is a bit annoying and you'll be able to make them closer to your actual trip. But you should still be able to make them like it's not like it's just gone and that's the end of it. And if you decide to still go on your trip, even though you wouldn't have dining plan, that you won't be able to eat at any of your favorite restaurants or anything. It's just that they've had to kind yeah. of level the playing field and then you can make them again, yeah. if that makes sense. Um, I'm still waiting to hear of, on the new system for getting into the parks and mm. all that kind of thing. Like I was saying, because I do have a... Um, resort reservation I should hopefully get that information because resort guests do get priority yeah. um, Cassandra was asking do I have anything booked with DVC points yes I do so the current situation I have which is kind of a very weird setup so in July I've got a week booked at All Star Movies and three nights at Saratoga Springs however when they announced about DVC definitely is opening in June that led me to wonder whether like all stars may not open does that mean if it got closer to the time my reservation would get mm. cancelled i don't know so i guess there's a lot that should get confirmed tomorrow right yeah i think there's going to be some information so i then actually do have booked now three nights at old key west and three nights at saratoga springs that does leave me with four nights not accounted for which if push came to shove i would have to book at an off-site hotel because obviously disney are not taking any more and then I'd have to just go to the parks on those days. If I'm totally honest, I don't think I'm going to be going in July anyway, because I don't think the borders will be open by mm. then. Um, so all of this is probably going to be irrelevant. It's more likely to be our September trip that we're thinking about. But just in case um, they do and I am able to go, I have to kind of think about that, if that makes sense. Um... 
Uh, Cassandra saying, uh, have you had any negativity about your July trip because you're in the UK or are people being supportive? Um, I haven't actually, um, mainly because I don't actually know that I can go. I think if I was being really pushy about it and saying, I want to make sure I can go, it'll be so unfair if I can't go mm. and this and that, I could understand there being some hate, but I am very, very much of the opinion that if I can't go because the borders aren't open, that's because they've decided that's not safe. And that's the end of the story. I'm not going to be at the airport demanding to be let on a plane <laughs> um, or going crazy about it or getting annoyed about it. Like, if I can go safely, I will go. But if I can't, then equally, that's OK as well. That's fine. So I think because I'm not um, having any kind of like pushy opinion about how I should be entitled to go and all this sort of thing, um, because that's just not the case. You know, I can I can go when they deem it OK for people to travel. And obviously, even then, you have to be extremely careful and responsible about how you're acting when you're traveling, if that makes sense. So, yes. Um... Amy wants some clues about what the quiz will be about. It is about the trip that we're currently doing the vlogs about. So the reaction vlogs, Ooh, it is that 2016. Okay, so one of the old, old from the vault. Yes. A deep cut. Yes. Um, the reservation system seems like it will cause a headache. Not sure how that will work. Yeah, I do think um, what may be an issue is the fact that the priority is going to be given to resort guests. So I, I can see that it's going to be difficult for anyone who doesn't have a resort reservation mm. at first. Um, that's that, that could be difficult potentially. So I could see people getting quite annoyed because you now can't make a reservation in a resort. Yeah. So yeah, that, that could be a bit of a nightmare. Um, I saw Cassandra said there's a lot of people with opinions on social media. <laughs> yeah, there, yes, do you know what? Are. There always is about absolutely anything and people are entitled to their opinion. I'm not going to say that I think anyone's opinion is wrong. Um, if people feel strongly about it, that is obviously their... I don't know. I, I've seen some opinions that I, true, would, I would go true. far enough to say that I think they're wrong. But that's yeah, just that's what I true. think. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, it, to me, I just think I know the sort of person I am. I know that... I don't do things that are irresponsible and I don't just do things and think, well, I don't care about the consequences or anything else. So the fact that somebody might send some hate my way because yeah. of something something I'm doing, th you know, that's that's their that's their opinion. I don't know them, so I'm, I'm not going to lose sleep Well, more over importantly, it. they don't know you, so... Exactly, yeah. So, it kind of um, doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I, I personally wouldn't do anything that I think is wrong. And if mm. other people think what I'm doing is wrong, that's obviously their choice to think that yeah. but yeah. it doesn't mean that we don't listen to what other people say like we know we're not arrogant enough yeah. to think that we're oh, always absolutely. right and yeah someone's opinion might not change our minds but yeah it's just a case of you know <laughs> you can't let it affect you too much can you no exactly if i did then i wouldn't be able to do youtube full stop because people can be quite mean on social <laughs> media that is for sure um sorry i'm just having a, i missed a few things there so i'm just Scrolling through. Amy's saying I need a Bath and Body Works shopping trip. Me too, because I'm out of hand sanitizer. Um, do I think UK guests will be offered a discount for an amended booking as it was free dining? Um, I don't, I personally, I don't know what you think. I don't think Disney are going to be offering don't... any kinds of deals for anything in the near future because they're in a situation where they have too much demand and they can't fulfill with enough supply yeah they've got too many people who want to go for the amount of people they can safely let in i think if you had um it's really difficult it's really difficult um i know people in the u.s have been offered this situation where if they've had their dining plan taken away they can book with 35 percent discount they were offered a special offer so people who were impacted in i think march and part of april were able to rebook from mm. june or july onwards with this free dining mm. i know those people have been offered the 35 yeah. percent resort stay um discount but i'm not sure what they'll do for uk guests i think there's going to be some information on that tomorrow actually so yeah. obviously we will let you know it's going to be really difficult um, for Disney because, you know, they're trying to balance so many different things. They're obviously restricted in how many people they can allow to come. They, yeah. from a commercial perspective, understandably for them, they want to try and maximise their revenue because they've lost an awful lot of money yep, because of this. Sure. 
Um, you can't get past that fact they're still a company at the end of the day, they're still a business. Um, but then they're also, you know, probably genuinely going to want to try and preserve as much goodwill amongst people who've been affected. Mm -hmm. So it's like all of these things are kind of in conflict with one another. It's yeah. like, you know, they'd love for everyone to be able to come because then everyone gets what they want. They get everyone's money, you know, and it's it's a win-win, right? People get what they want. Yes. But they just can't do that. So someone somewhere is going to have to be disappointed. Um, mm -hmm. And there's only so much they're going to be able to do. To So yeah, like I say, I think promotions and things like free dining and other discounts and stuff are going to be pretty rare for now for the foreseeable future but yeah, yeah I, I think that's the thing as well so even though at the moment you can't make new ticket bookings you can't make resort reservations that won't stay that way they're just doing that for mm. phase one of opening because they yeah. just can't have too many people there so don't panic too much obviously it is super disappointing there is no question um but yes yeah. We will see. Disney are kind yeah. of releasing. <laughs> it's bits almost of the same story that it's been for you know the last two months. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll know when we know. The last hurdle, obviously, for a lot of us here in the UK, is just knowing when we'll be able to travel because yeah. that it, a lot of what we're thinking about is going to be irrelevant if we can't actually get out of the country. Well, we can get out of the country probably, but not. No, we can get back in, but not out. <laughs> is the issue. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and yeah, Brandy says, you know, I'd be careful about going to the US at all due to riots and all the other stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. It's been quite scary in the US right now. Absolutely, Brandy. You know, that's something we're oh, yeah. well aware of. And there's absolutely no way we would travel tomorrow. If, no. Even if we could and even if it was allowed and all the rest of it. So, yeah, it's just going to be a case of wait and see. And see yeah. And honestly, I won't be like going anywhere other than Disney. No, exactly. Um, and as well. So that's, yeah. yeah. But yes, still, like, it's... even going through an airport, mm -hmm. you know, there's always risks involved. So. But it's, yeah, it's very scary what's going on. And obviously we have been very closely following what's been going on. And it's absolutely horrific. Um, and just so, so kind of, I don't even know what the word is. Well, it's just, it's frightening, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's yeah. frightening in so many different ways. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's something that probably on this channel we want to get into, you know, in terms I, of discussing it, but it's... Yeah, I don't think necessarily we want to get into it, but I also think it's important not to just... We, we need to acknowledge it. Yeah. We need to acknowledge what's going on. You know, a man, yeah. has, been, a man has been killed yeah. and the reaction to it has been understandably very, very strong. Yeah. Um, and people have different thoughts about that and mm -hmm. people are entitled to their opinions, as always. But, yeah. um, you know, it's it's just a very sad situation. It's very... It is. I mean, it's more than sad, really, yeah. but it's And everybody's it's life matters is the, the point, and that needs to definitely be acknowledged. And just I think it, it just reminds you you need to stand up for people when something yeah. bad is happening. But we won't get into a whole thing about it, that. but please do know that we very much so do... politics in detail? Is yeah. That, is, <laughs> is that the next... But we, but we do feel that very deeply, what's going on, and yeah. are very, like horrified by it and definitely it. we always yeah. try and keep things light here and it, you know this these lives are about giving people a place to get away from originally a lot of the horrible things that are going on now there's other different additional horrible things going on we kind of want to try and be an escape exactly. from that where we can be yeah. but absolutely we we recognize that these things yes. are happening that's and, exactly it it's yeah. we, we don't want to you know we want this to be a distraction as ian said but equally we don't want anyone to think that we're just totally ignoring it but yes yeah. it is completely just the craziest time who knew 2020 was going to be as absolutely wild as it is being so yeah. far what is going on who would have guessed if only we had 2020 vision yes if i did <laughs> i'm here all week <laughs> um i would definitely have um gone to disney for longer in february yeah. i only went for a week i would have gone for four weeks or something i'd have gone earlier <laughs> julia d says throw 2020 away i, I agree mm -hmm. i think that like come the end of this year we should just all agree to roll the calendars back and we'll just get a do-over on 2020 we'll just yes. start again yes actually no don't do that because that would cause so many it problems yeah no let's I just i don't i don't even want to think about it <laughs> maybe we can just zoom past it that would be good um my mini ears, um, Becky made these for me, so unfortunately they are not available for purchase anywhere, but I do love them, they're one of my favourite pairs. Uh, Amy says I watched <laughs> Contagion and it's actually great, sorry, what were you laughing at? Amy says the pun was the worst thing that happened in 2020. <laughs> I'm sorry, 
Uh, oh different Amy was saying um, that she watched Contagion. It's actually crazy similar. I also watched Contagion a few weeks ago. I and... didn't watch it because I felt it would be a bit triggering because you watched it. Yeah, quite I watched a few... it when things were yeah. even worse than they are. So now. I didn't want to, but um, but yeah, it was kind of it was surprising how I have seen not that how movie accurate before. it was because what happens in that movie is very different to what's going on with coronavirus in a lot of ways. It's a very different kind of virus. You know, yeah. it's, it's like very immediately fatal in yes, a very, you know, kind of the, the difference. action film Hollywood way. But a lot of the things around it, the, when they talk about the epidemiology of it and stuff, it was actually quite accurate. You know, they talk about R and they talk about how infections spread and yeah, it was it was interesting. Yeah. It was interesting. Um Cam wants to know if you've kicked out Kyle or is he still trying to be Fauna's boyfriend? Right, he's not trying to be Fauna's boyfriend, so thank goodness that's over. Although I have... You've come around on Kyle, I've kind you? of befriended him because I gave up trying to get rid of him. He's not leaving. And actually, he's quite helpful and he started singing all the time, which is quite cute. Um, and he's... If I'm up late at night playing, he is always up, um, along with Cherry. Those two seem to be like the night yeah, out Cherry people. is like... She doesn't sleep. No, so... Um, I've kind of come around to the idea, but I still feel the same way about Fauna. He better stay away from her. <laughs> um, but I do keep getting Marina saying that she wants to leave. She said that twice now. I was like, Marina, no, you are not <laughs> leaving anywhere. I still don't trust Kyle, Amy's saying. No, I don't totally trust him yeah, either. Yeah, you know, stay with your instincts. I think as soon as he says he wants to leave, I'll be fine with it and be like, yep, yeah, okay, cool, off you go. Amy G accidentally spoke to one of her islanders that she's trying to ignore and is so annoyed at herself. I've actually done that on your behalf before haven't I I accidentally yes. spoke to Kyle when I was having a go on your account sorry Cassandra we are talking about Animal Crossing again sorry let's stop let's stop Disney we, we, we can yes. talk about that over on the new channel when it's when it's up <laughs> Lorianne says Marina can come to my island <laughs> she's mine um so yeah we basically just don't know what's happening with the trip a lot of people keep asking me and saying do I think they should change it and cancel and stuff and it's so hard for me to say. Um, someone was asking there, sorry, I forget who was asking. Um, someone said, so I'm really sorry. Someone said, would what I pay for dining plan? I just can't see who I think asked. That was a while ago. Um, oh, Disa, yeah. yeah. Would I pay for dining plan? For me, it never comes out worth it when I work out how much it would be. Yeah. Um, it's, it's always never... worth it when it's free. <laughs> of course, yeah. But then having said that, you do pay more for your room, but I mm -hmm. still think it is, obviously, if you're going to get it for free, then that's great. Yeah. But for us, it just doesn't make sense, especially for me, because of what I order from the menu. Yeah. It's, it's never really the right way to go. So for me, I probably wouldn't um, yeah. pay for it. But I know some people do. Some people just love prepaying for I it. I do think that, yeah, there's an element of that. I can imagine if I was travelling as part of a larger group, maybe mm -hmm. even just like a family of four, like two parents, two children kind of situation the ease of it is probably worth something to most people mm -hmm. i think just the fact that you know that your meals are dealt with every day yes that you just have to flash the magic band and it's all done yeah okay you, you still need to tip and all the rest of it but you know what i mean like for budget you don't purposes. have to budget for it you yeah. don't have to worry about it you know that you can eat in the parks you're not having to think about is it worth leaving the park to go and eat somewhere cheaper off site mm -hmm. and then come back but then you lose time and it's just it can make things very stressful so yeah. i do find that the dining plan is great for like de-stressing your yes. days yeah because you just eat what you want when you want i mean you, you're gonna want to make some adrs for evening meals and stuff as well but yeah. you know what i mean is the convenience is definitely worth a, a small premium, mm. even if you're not getting strictly dollar for dollar value out of it. Yeah, it's just for us that we kind of um, have been quite a few times. Like we know the places we like and we don't think too much about needing it prepaid. But I know for some people, when they're planning their trip, they like that. They like to know, as Ian was saying, that you yeah. can just kind of turn up and it's already sorted. Um, Amy says it was so easy when we had the dining plan. I put on a stone and a half after three weeks of Disney dining. Yeah, yeah that can happen. That is certainly for real. a thing that happens. Um, uh, someone, uh, would, would I just read it? I'm so sorry, I'm so useless. At... Was it about table service? Um, someone was just saying their clients say it's like an all-inclusive feel. Oh, that was feel. Uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Um, uh, oh, Laura's saying it's her birthday on Wednesday. She'll be oh, 32, so happy birthday, Happy birthday. Laura. birthday. We'll try to remember on Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> and then it'll only be one day away. 
Um, have we looked into Shanghai anymore in the last while? We haven't for a minute. No. I think it will depend on what happens. That's it. I think yeah. if you get one more Disney or like Florida trip cancelled, yes, then maybe we'll start to look into it. Yeah. Um, but I literally don't even know what the situation is with Westerners travelling to no, China or, or to Hong especially Kong. Especially like, like UK visitors, they're probably like maybe. I mean, we must be the apart away. from the US, we must be the last people that they want coming in maybe i mean i think once this track and trace thing comes into play and it's a little bit clearer because over there they very much rely on a system of people mm. having like a, a green yeah like qr code to say i don't have i think the... The i think the chances of having a system that runs worldwide is going to be pretty slim maybe every, i don't every country or region is know. likely to probably have its own system but could it be that you could you can only get on a plane to travel somewhere if you have sure, a green they might, for your country. They might offload the responsibility yeah. onto the originating country. But yeah. I don't know. It all, it was all gonna, you know, international all stuff depends. is always very complicated. But yeah. Yeah, I think if, if things get pushed much further for you in Florida. Yes. Um, and I mean, certainly I know that the, as someone mentioned it earlier, the US-Canadian border mm -hmm. is definitely closed until at least the uh, beginning of July. Yes. So yeah. that's at least another month before Canada and the US are mm -hmm. able to travel freely. I can only imagine that, I mean, there's certainly no way that UK guests are going to be able to get into the US earlier than Canadians. I wouldn't imagine And if anything, so. it's probably going to be a bit longer for us, I imagine. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how yeah. things go. I, wonder, I do wonder, though, whether it will be a question, I don't know how they will implement it and how it will happen, but whether it will be a case of people won't be allowed to travel unless you could prove you don't have it if that makes sense yeah i think yeah, that's what it will come down to it's gonna be very difficult yeah to have a you know a framework where people can prove that i don't know it's just it's a bureaucratic and logistical nightmare yeah. to organize so i think we'll there'll be see. there'll be temperature checks at the airport i think yeah. and stuff like that and because ultimately you know nobody really minds if like blanket is saying if you're from this country just go away what people don't want is people bringing it in obviously yeah. so if you know that you are have a clean bill of health and you don't have it mm. then you know yeah. that's that's it's just a case of obviously how that would work it's very but... difficult because even a temperature check is not not you know going to catch someone who's asymptomatic for mm -hmm. example so mm -hmm. there's lots of of caveats and ifs and buts yes exactly um um claire ha sorry claire has a good question um about the scenario of if you're booking for like a trip of a lifetime mm -hmm. um, and it was scheduled for this year, would you move it out to next year, 2021, and deal with the 50th anniversary or would you actually consider pushing it out further? Before you answer, my personal answer is I'd push it out further. Sorry, I got really confused then. I thought you said something about Trump and then said that. But then I was reading somebody's comment. Right. No. Sorry, that was so weird. I, I was. You said. I thought you said Trump, but then started talking about that. I was like, No, you just weren't listening to me. You were. I was a listening, but I was like, that was so weird. I was like, What? Why is he talking about that? Um, so Claire's question was: yes. Trip of a lifetime. If it was booked for this year, do you push it to next year, given that there might still be Corona things going on, and it's the fiftieth, or do you push it out further? For me personally. I push it out further. If it's a once in a lifetime... Yeah, if it's a trip of a lifetime... You it's... want to do it right rather than do it soon. It's a bit risky, I think, and... It depends how things shake out. I mean, if yeah. things are looking very normal by next year, then possibly, mm -hmm. you know, going for the 50th would be an amazing experience. But even that, I think if you're only ever going to go once, you do not want to go while there's a huge event on. Yeah, and you don't know that you're only going to go once, but if you're yeah. seeing it as it could yeah. be only once. Well, even then... if it's, you know, once every 20 years, it's, yeah. that's still... I would push to 2022 or later, personally. Yeah. Um, Amy's saying, I did the same because they were both called Claire. That's why that happened. Ah, Okay. Um, so what was other Claire saying about Trump? So, oh, Trump talking about international yeah. visitors having to go through checks at the airports before boarding. That's what I yeah. think will happen. Um, I do I do honestly think that could be the case. I don't know whether how, how it will work or how mm. they would do that or whether it's some kind of like paid thing that you have to do. I know that sounds really crazy, but... Well, yeah, I mean, it, it could be to... like... Um, what's the scheme? Like TSA pre-approved or whatever it's called. Yeah, like where you have um, to... What is that called? Global entry? Is that yeah. thing? Yeah. Um, it might be like that, where you can, like, there is some internationally recognised medical bureau that mm. you can go and get an antibody test once there is a reliable antibody test, and you then get certified as, like, I've had it, 
I'm not going to get it. Again. I was I thinking don't have it now. more. Like maybe that's what's going to happen. I was thinking more. You'd have to turn up to the airport even earlier and actually get a test done. I don't think those kinds of tests can be developed quickly enough. Well, they, they can in other countries because my brother lives in South Korea and over there you could get a test and they text you within uh, two no, hours that, and say... That was a positive test. So that was to say you've got it. Yeah, that's what I mean. They want to know whether or not you have but got that, it. Yeah, but a positive test doesn't prove a negative. Like an antibody test... They, there's two different things saying you currently do or don't have it yeah. versus you have already had it. Right. Those are two different things because if you... If you don't have it, yeah. but you haven't had it, yeah. you are still a possible vector for transmission. Whereas if you've had it, you cannot carry it again. It, well, that's for, for sure, is it? Yeah. Well, that's, that's how say, uh, all other viruses sure. work. Mm. There was some talk very early on about um, people being able to get repeat infections, but I think it turned out that the reports were a bit um, kind of unreliable on that. It was it was not concrete. Yeah. So the... All other viruses work in that way, that once you build up antibodies, you don't get... That's how vaccines work, right? Mm -hmm. Because you effectively give yourself the virus so that you then can't catch it again. You train your body to defend against it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think and I think someone said in the chat that um, antibody tests are like blood tests. Yeah. So, you, yeah, you can swab to find out, does this person have coronavirus right now? Mm. But that isn't the same as saying they've already had it and so can't catch it again. Yeah. Yeah, because I um, obviously Heidi's like saying that we don't know that about COVID that you can't get it again if you've already had we, it. Right? We don't know it. No. Yeah. We don't know it, but yeah, it's it's widely thought that secondary infections are not possible. Okay. Certainly, that's why the antibody test is something that is, is a wanted. thing. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. the point no, is nothing is foolproof. You're absolutely massive right. Massive tangent Heidi. is that we don't know what the criteria will be to travel. I don't think you'll. It will just be the same. Like they'll say, right, we're opening the borders, and then off you go. No, exactly. I think they will definitely mm. want checks done before you board a plane. So I think the airport experience could be considerably longer than it is now. So yes, I don't know. We will see. It sounds like maybe what I had read is out of date because there's, mm. there's people talking about second infections in the same patients. So perhaps I'm totally wrong. So apologies if I've got that wrong. Yeah, I was more thinking that what they care about is that people boarding planes don't have it. That's That was my understanding. I mean, they certainly will care about that. I just yeah. think they will also care about yeah. whether someone has already had it. Yep. I don't know. I mean, I know for the UK, because they're imposing the 14-day quarantine period is because they don't want anyone bringing anything back, obviously, and then yeah. spreading it around. But if, if they know you don't have it when you're going, mm. obviously you're at least not bringing in more infection, mm. if that makes any sense. So, yes. Anyway, <laughs> we don't know, yeah, we <laughs> is the know. answer. But for, Not doctors, not epidemiologists. No, but for Shanghai, that's something that we would maybe look at later on in the year, depending what happens with these trips. Um, somebody was saying, how would I feel if I don't get to go this year? Obviously not good because I go every year, but equally, you know, I totally understand why I can't go if I can't go. And it's it's just such a huge global problem. It's obviously, it's not something that I'm going to kind of get in a, in a stress about and be like, oh, this is so unfair because there are bigger <laughs> things going on. You know, if I am able to travel, they decide that it's okay and you get, you know, then I will do it. But equally, I'm not going to get really crazy because i can't go i'm very fortunate to go as often as i do i did manage to go this year in february so yeah but yes i will be disappointed without question if i don't get to go um do you already have a ticket for the halloween party no we haven't actually booked no. that we i mean we probably would have done it but we haven't booked a ticket so we're not worried if we don't get to do that like say we can travel in september but they're not selling any we've more done tickets. it before, we're fine so. yeah that's not the end of the world and um, when do we think California will open? I don't know. That's a really good question. I haven't really heard much about that. Yeah. I think they'll announce something we're, soon. We're very but... underinformed about Disneyland. Yeah, because <laughs> we haven't got a trip planned there. We're not kind of watching it as closely as as some um, mm. Disney World, and certainly like Disneyland Paris. I haven't even like heard anything about that. No, exactly. I mean, Angela and Scarlett are just saying if you're unable to go to America, would you maybe go to Disneyland Paris instead? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. It's something we might consider. Yeah, um, I don't I think they're obviously still closed at the moment and yeah. everything. Um how does Disney handle cancelling for June and July? So they're not obviously going to be cancelling anybody well 
I don't think they're going to be cancelling people in July because they've obviously now said that they're opening. So I think enough people will cancel based on the decision about the dining plan that hopefully yeah. that will lower the capacity of their resorts, like the resort bookings, so that there's not too many people booked to stay in the Disney resorts. So I think that's kind of why Disney have made that move is to cut down on the amount of bookings they have. In June, I know when um, my May trip was cancelled, Disney literally just cancel it and refund your money. You don't even have to phone up. So if you know you have a trip booked in June, you don't have to sit on hold for hours on end to cancel it. They will just cancel it. And my money was refunded mm. almost instantly, yeah. um, booking through Walt Disney Travel Company in here in the UK. So. Yeah. Oh, Aoife's here. Hi, Aoife. Oh, hi, Aoife. Thanks for joining us. Uh, MB Disney wants to know if there's a quiz tonight. Yes, yes, there will be. Yes. You even revealed what the topic yes. was, didn't you? It's to yeah. do with the same series of vlogs that we're currently doing reaction videos to. Yes, so 2016. So the wedding trip for our friends, Ben and Lip. I'm just going to grab my fan. It's rather Oh, are you, are you struggling? <laughs> I'm just quite warm. <laughs> right, I'll hold, I'll hold down the fort. God, right, everything's going to go off the rails now, folks. Are you ready? Uh, Heather is saying, even though we are only a five hour drive from Disneyland, we haven't heard much, and I tend to watch Walt Disney World more. The info seems to be mostly focused on Florida. I think that makes sense because with Disneyland in California, so many more, not many more, but such a greater proportion of their guests are locals and short yeah. visitors, whereas Walt Disney World is very much vacation visitors who are there for a yeah. week, two weeks plus. Less planning goes into, when yeah. I say planning, I mean forward planning. Yeah. So people who visit Disneyland don't need to necessarily think about it months and years yeah. in advance, whereas Disney World people exactly. do. So I there's think a, that's... There's a lot more locals and casual visitors in Disneyland yeah. than there is in Walt Disney World. So yeah. yeah. Disney World, obviously, they, they need to try and put something in place quickly if they're going to open yeah. in July already now people are like where's this new system how can i book my yeah. place in the parks and what's going on and all that <laughs> kind of thing so um yeah that's why they have to uh do that kathleen is saying did we get our new treadmill and ian's chair so the chair has arrived yes ian's chair is here i haven't built it yet <laughs> it did arrive on friday and i just i'm gonna be honest this weekend has just been meh it's just flown past We've been doing other things. I just haven't got around to it. We were going to do it today and vlog it for the other channel, weren't we? But, yeah. Um, I guess I'll build it tomorrow yeah. sometime. Although we were also meant to tidy our bedroom this weekend. And now we're going to do that tomorrow. So yeah. we have been the masters of just procrastinating and delaying things. We've got a lot of stuff in this room that just needs sorting yeah. out. So we are There's a reason that. you only get to see this yeah. little corner of this room. Because don't want to see the rest You don't want to see the rest. Um... And the treadmill, um, we don't know what happened to the original one. It went well, somewhere it, in it Scotland. It did go to Scotland. It, it went to, um, well, Blimenech, what's it called? Uh, more, more, blah, 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 blah. It begins with an M. I've forgotten. Um, <laughs> but but yes, yeah, they, they said they would it. ship another one. They say they have shipped another one, and now we're waiting. What I'm a little bit anxious about is that this has all been done through the Amazon like seller mm -hmm. messaging thing. So it is all attached to the order. But if I go into the order on Amazon and say my stuff didn't arrive, it says you're eligible for a refund or you can contact the seller. Mm. Now, I've already contacted the seller and they've said they've shipped another one. But that always makes me a bit on edge that like, we'll oh, should I have just got the money back and then we figure something else out? Mm. Anyway, they reckon it should be here around the 10th, I think they said. So it's still like another oh, week and a half. That's annoying. It is annoying. And if this one doesn't come to the right place, oh my gosh. I'm going to be livid. I really wish I mean, by we'd then, have just... we'll just be able to go outside. and. <laughs> yeah, I really wish we'd have just got one from somewhere else. But there you go. There you go. Uh, Kathleen's asking what time the Zoom calls will be. What I'll do, Kathleen, is in a second, I'll drop a link in the chat because we put a post up on Patreon on... Friday, I think it went up, or mm -hmm. Thursday, with all of the details. So rather than me try and muddle through it and inevitably get it wrong, yes. I will link you to that post we momentarily. Don't want to tell anyone so the wrong time. Keep your eyes on the chat or just head over to Patreon and you should see it as one of the most recent posts there. Yes. Uh, I'm going to let you pick a comment and then you can respond to it while I quickly go and get the link. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, someone's saying they ordered themselves a handheld fan from Amazon. Is, oh, is it well the, the Easy Act? This one is amazing. It's very, very good. I hope you guys can't hear this too much. It shouldn't be too loud. <laughs> um, 
if we go to Disneyland Paris, the parade and fireworks might be off and the meet and greets. Yeah, it's entirely possible. Obviously, for Disney World, that's definitely something they won't be doing. Um, for me, parades and character meet and greets, while they are fun, they're not something that would be a deal breaker for me. The fireworks is obviously disappointing, but again, it wouldn't be a barrier for me going to Disney. Like, I would still go. But I totally get why some people wouldn't, because some of those things are, like, the thing they're most looking forward to. Um, oh, and it's 39 degrees for Gila D. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's, that's horrible. Um, Heather's going to try one of the around-the-neck hands-free fans. Yeah, I think that'll be good, especially if you have to wear a face mask. It kind of goes around your neck, and there's, like, two fans, like, mm, blowing into your face. They're very cool. Yeah, that could be good if you've got a face mask on. But then would you be potentially blowing any germs anywhere? Would that be a bad idea? No, because it's blowing into your face, right? Yeah, I mean, the purpose of the mask is to help stop things coming out of your coming own, out yeah exactly right? not going so, in yeah um Aoife's asking for an update on the animal crossing channel we talked about it earlier Aoife, unfortunately yes. you just missed it but it's coming in the next day or two we've yes. done the channel art the channel is ready you just need some content yes and then it will launch i've been waiting for the tripod to arrive it has arrived so probably be monday or tuesday yeah. there should be something up over there yeah and do you think you're going to do like a mixture of pre-recorded and live stream stuff or are you just going to pre-record i'm not sure probably pre-record to start off with because you can't live stream from the switch lights which is the one i currently have no i just meant like by yeah i could yeah. do it that way same but, way we're doing um, this probably pre-recorded to start off with yeah and then go from there cool uh, Sophie's asking about whether we're going to have another UK trip this year. Um, she really enjoyed our weekend away when we went to Cornwall for Valentine's um, Day. Oh yeah, even though we just even got, though ended rains, up stuck inside. Yeah, Uno and Pub Walk. <laughs> yeah, we normally do a couple of little trips like that throughout the year. This year's been obviously different because of what's now happened. Because we usually <laughs> would do a trip like with Ian's parents somewhere um, yeah. and, and do like various different things. But I think I probably know. early next year we might do something with my family yeah um but yeah the rest of this year we might do like when things have calmed down a little yeah. bit we might go somewhere at the minute it's just i feel like we won't do anything for now because yeah. obviously it's, it's it just still... it just feels kind of um not pointless that's not the right word but it kind of feels wasted effort to plan things like that at the yeah, moment yeah just because you don't know because you're like, like it might just happen. all get scuppered anyway so yeah um but yeah, yeah. maybe we might do we're definitely not against the idea else. i mean we may even go back to the same place in cornwall because yeah. it rained last time yeah. so you never know but at the minute they don't want anyone going there no. because obviously we're trying to <laughs> not go around too much amy really wants to go to the isle of wight yes isle of wight is very cool actually mm. we enjoyed it when we went it's a little bit of a time warp it is, say. yeah, yeah. It feels it's... like stepping back into a bygone era. But in but a it's nice kind way. Of cute. In a good it's very way. Nice. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, Dawn says, Was that the trip where Victoria threw cards in Ian's face? Now, to be specific. Hang on, Dawn. She threw cards and they went in my face. She exactly. did not throw them in my face. That is an important It's an detail. important distinction, apparently. Yes. Um, Laura's saying, Would I bother with a full face of makeup with the mask on? Yes, I would. Um, I've actually, <laughs> I'm in the process of testing out some new makeup to see how well it stays on. I will be testing it with a mask as well. Mm. So it's quite handy that we've got some hot weather here in the UK because I can somewhat um, practice it with hot weather. It wouldn't be as hot as Florida. But it's almost like a challenge for me to find something to see if I can get something to stay on. It's unlikely, but I feel mm. like it's not impossible. I feel like there must be a product out there that will stay on it's more to be honest i'm gonna have the mask on when i'm vlogging it's not that mm. i just feel like i want to find something that stays on i mean laura says that she'd just do her eyebrows and mascara anyway so she true. doesn't really need to care <laughs> true but i really do feel like i need to try and find something that stays on ginger tony makes a good point when the treadmill finally arrives you can test the makeup on that see if it I could, sweats off in fact i could wear a face mask while walking on the treadmill to really get yep. that kind of I'm Maybe if you've got a new pair of shoes, feeling. you need to break in as well. Yep. Just like kill Practi four birds practice with one stone. Play Animal Crossing at the same time. I'll be literally multitasking to the max. It'll be amazing. <laughs> um, Jane has opened a Starling account for when you go next year. Do you find the exchange rate good on it? Um, yeah, I find Starling really good, actually. It's just so easy to use in Florida. Mm. And whenever you make a transaction, it instantly comes up 
in pounds what you've spent and i find the exchange rate is is absolutely fine it's not like some cards where you get a really bad exchange mm. i find it pretty pretty good so yeah the I instant alerts are really really good because really you get to good, see yeah. the, ex the the currency converted amount so if you buy something for twenty dollars it will pop up and say you spent 16 pounds or whatever yes so that's kind of nice to get that instant feedback as well yeah um i would just say that while starling is really good i use monzo monzo is really good as well yeah that's good too. same sort of thing it's got an app it's very easy it's very good you can set up like pots for different things it's very yeah. good for budgeting yeah they're both really really good <laughs> Julie says i'll be in a, i'll be extra prepared i'm training for it i am literally in training for when i get to go to disney in, and that means masks finding extra stay makeup i'm on it i'm there i'm doing it all and um someone said something funny then i should take a misting fan with setting spray in it Amy <laughs> say. that's not a bad idea if you get a yeah urban decay setting spray in a <laughs> misting fan you'll be well away that's amazing a lot of people saying that they use monzo like instead of their normal bank account. yeah some people do uh, revolute yeah. the other one that a lot of people use mm -hmm. yeah no it's become a really popular thing to have like a just online bank account yeah uh, megan no we haven't done the quiz yet no nope. how, how are we looking for time 50 minutes yeah we could probably think about a quiz soon, soon. yeah we'll do it soonish yeah. yep um uh, oh, megan you're yes. right everyone in disney does love the color of the monzo card because it's like bright orangey pink see the starling it? one is like a teal green which mm. is my favorite color and they almost always mention it yeah, they're like oh same this with the monzo. yeah they always it's yeah. so funny it's like they they also really they also love seeing our driving it? licenses because they're pink yeah uk driving licenses are pink and they love that <laughs> um justin's saying their disney trip got cancelled for july but they're going to hang around orlando any ideas of what to do um mm. I mean, how long are you there guess for? going to disney springs is one thing yeah i mean for sure you could go to disney springs to still kind of get that disney um, feeling the only thing we've ever actually done in orlando proper is go to a magic game and you're obviously not going to be able to do no. that go to kennedy space center you go to kennedy space center that'd be very cool yeah very topical at the moment i guess also things like going down to celebration mm -hmm. and checking that out is yep. a possible thing yeah um samantha's saying what do i think about fast passes being removed so I think they've done that for the minute because they need the queuing space, both the fast pass line and the regular standby line in order to social distance people. Because if they just social distance people in the regular queue, you, you could potentially be queuing like really far out of the attractions. So they're somehow going to, I think, join up the queues, but mm. have people stand separately so that they can space people out. Um, so I get why they're doing it. They're doing it because um, also it's a little fairer as well, I think, even more so than ever. If um, some people have had bookings cancelled, maybe. Mm. I don't know. It's it's really weird. But I think it'll be fine. And I think down the line, once the phase one is over, you will be able to make fast passes again. I think they'll bring it back in soon enough. It's just that they've had to take it away for now. Obviously, it's disappointing because I did have some really good ones booked. Like I said, I don't think I'll be going in July in any case. Um, but for our trip in September, yeah. you know, we're, we're fine about it. We'll, we'll just, you know, stand in line maybe a little longer than we normally would to get things done that we haven't done before or like flight of passage and mm. runaway railway. But the we've done a lot of the attractions a lot of times. Yeah. So we're not going to be too, like, upset about it. Oh, hi, Ria. Thanks for joining us. Oh, hi, Ria. Also, it might be nice to see the queuing area of some rides that mm. we never see the main queuing area. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, because we... We almost never wait standby for anything anymore. No. Makes it sound like so yeah, we entitled, don't, doesn't it? Yeah, hey, we, we don't mean it like that. We're too but... special to, to wait in standby. No, we just don't like long lines. Yeah. And we get to go a lot, so we can just make fast passes, and if we don't do something, we'll do it next time. Right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of standby queuing areas that we've just never seen. Yeah, we've never seen Seven Dwarfs Mine Train no. regular queuing area. I was thinking, should we... We had a bit of mail in oh, our PO yeah, box. Did, yes. Should we open this? Yeah, so, also... I do have something else to show you guys. Um, I got this in the post from the lovely Adam, Adam Hatton, and he has sent me his new updated dream guide. Can we just take a look at this cover? How amazing is that? Did we not already show this? Was Love this on this. the Patreon? This is on Patreon ah, live stream. Okay. Some of you may have seen it on the Patreon live stream, um, but this is an updated 50th anniversary edition, and there's like an extra bit in here about Galaxy's Edge. You can tell mm. that page because it's got like the black outline. Um, it's very cool. So I will link this after the stream, and I will make sure i remember to do it because i can be a bit useless <laughs> at remembering um i don't think well, this is out just yet but it no, will I be think out it's, soon it's later in june isn't it i think so yeah. next few weeks but i'll link it for you because it is yeah. really really good 
Did you get a signed one? Did he sign it for you as well? Um, I had a little nice note with it. Aww. And also hashtag gifted. I can't add hashtags. Oh, um, yes. Yes, he did sign oh, it. Oh, he did sign it. Yeah. Aww. So, have yeah. A, said, have a magical time on your next trip. Definitely. When will that, that be, Adam? Can yes. you let us know? Do you have a crystal ball? <laughs> so, um, yes. So we got this lovely letter, card. Yes. Envelope. Can't really see anything. Um, <laughs> so I'll open this up and then I won't have to worry about trying to cover up our address on it. Oh, some people are saying they've pre-ordered. Yes. Nice. It is, it is good. It's a very, very good book. This is very exciting. Ooh, oh, how nice goodness. is that? Nice. Okay. So it's a very cute mini cut out with a bow and it says congratulations and it's got hearts around the outside which oh, is very so cool nice. and inside it says dear victoria and ian congratulations i love that i'm getting congratulations yeah. for this as well good stuff <laughs> congratulations on reaching thirty-five thousand followers i realized once i sent my letter i hadn't said congratulations Aww. thank you again for everything you are a light in this dark situation from, from Caroline. Caroline F. Oh, that's so Thank nice. You, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. So Again, another one of our lovely, lovely people who has amazing handwriting. People's handwriting people's is People's handwriting like is impressive. so neat. Oh, Caroline's here. Hi, Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Thank you so, Thank you so much. much and we did card. get your letter as well. We did. Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. I think that came before we'd started reading things out on the street. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Thank that's you so much. If that falls off, I'm very sorry. Yeah, it should be okay. I think it's going to be okay for now. I, I, I keep it in the living room with cards, so <laughs> I will. But yeah, that's so sweet, there. Caroline. Thank you for sending that. It's yeah. very, very kind. As Sue says, it's like an old school TV kids program. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, it is. TV Which... kids program? That's not the order of those words. No. Well, I think I've just messed up my eyebrow. No, I haven't. Um, was it Philip Schofield who used to... Which yeah, yeah, with uh, with um, Gordon the Gopher, wasn't it? The broom it? cupboard. The broom cupboard. I'm him getting and, him a and, sudden memory. It was him and Andy Peters, wasn't it? Isn't yes. that where Andy Peters? I'm started getting out? I'm getting some memories yeah. flooding back about that. And they'd have the mail bag. <laughs> Amy says, "Yeah, here's one I made earlier." Exactly. <laughs> um, oh no, Cam just gave the dog a bath, and he's now sitting on the opposite side of the couch, giving me the evil eye. <laughs> yeah, standard. Yeah. There are two kinds of dogs in the world: the ones that like baths. And then most dogs. <laughs> it's just true. Yeah. Cheryl says we need a puppet. Yes. <laughs> we have Mr. Toad. Mr. Yeah, does he, he like? He joins us occasionally, doesn't yeah. he? He's got his magic band on. Yeah. Oh, we should get the Porg puppet. Oh, should I go grab that? No, we don't have him. Oh, the we've puppet. got the Porg, but not the Porg puppet. We have a Porg, yeah. Yeah, we've got a little Porg, but Porg, 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 Porg keychain little guy, but we haven't got the puppet. I mean, the one from Galaxy's Edge. You know, in the intro of the yes, vlog. Yes, I do know what you mean. That would be awesome. We're going to end up buying that guy, I can I, I think so, yeah. It hasn't happened yet, but... <laughs> uh, Laura's puppy loves a bath. Yeah, some of them do, don't they? But... And Sue says that I can be the puppet, as in me. <laughs> I mean, I'm, Awkward. I'm more of a muppet than a puppet, to be fair. <laughs> uh, Chris has got a fun fact. Andy Peters voiced one of the luggage handlers towards the end of Toy Story 2 at the airport. Really? Ah, that is fascinating. I did not know that. Oh no, Joe had to give the cat a bath yesterday because oh. it rolled in fox mess. Bathing oh. cats, they don't like that for the most part. Yikes. Yeah. Um, Rachel's asking, did we have a Disney wedding? No, we didn't. But we did go to... We went to our friend's Disney wedding. <laughs> yes, we did go to our friend's Disney wedding and we had our honeymoon at Disney, yes. but we didn't have a Disney wedding. Uh, Amy's pointed out the song said Cocker Spaniel did it get it held didn't. back it didn't no it did oh did it when oh. someone else said it it got okay, held back it did. <laughs> but I let it through oh that's funny um, how did we meet do we have an interesting story to tell we met online yeah so I don't know if that's that interesting back before like meeting online was really as much of a thing as it is yeah. now to be fair the interesting part about it was that we lived two and a half, three hours away mm. from each other. We did the kind of long distance thing. S not for very long though. For about a couple of months. And yeah. Like, Forget this. One of us needs to move. So it was end, <laughs> end of February 2010 is yes. when we met in person for the first time. We'd been speaking since Christmas of that previous year. And then I moved in Then you May. moved at the beginning of May, 5th yeah. of May, and we moved in together on the 5th of May. So... Pretty yeah, quick. two months. It was pretty quick. We had been talking for quite a long time before we met in person. Yeah, between Christmas yeah. and the 27th of February. See, I've got my dates in my head, I yeah. know. Yes. So yeah, it was quite a short time before we moved in together.
Uh, Paula says that when her cats get bathed, they're wet and look like rats. Yeah, they yeah. do. Some of the, if cats they've got skinny really legs tiny. and their tail yeah. is like really skinny as well. They look so sad. It does. It's really sad. <laughs> um, oh, Harry's saying really enjoyed this week's reactions vlog. Um, don't think we were going to, but they're great. Oh, yeah, I, I'm never, I wasn't sure about the whole thing whether people would enjoy them, but I think they're actually hmm. quite good. We quite like doing them and looking back at the vlogs. Yeah. And we haven't watched those vlogs literally since they went up pretty much. So, no? yeah, it's really cool looking back. Uh, Aoife says, if you could do it over, would you have a Disney wedding? Probably not, actually. No, I wouldn't. Not do because it. Ben and Libby's wasn't fantastic. Oh, no, theirs was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. I just think for us, we wanted everyone to be able to be there. Yeah. And so, like, doing a Disney wedding, naturally, there are going to be people who can't make it. You know, grandparents who can't travel or just yeah. people that can't afford to do a flight to the States, obviously. It's, we it's just, quite a big deal. We had the day, the exact day we wanted. And, yeah, we had we? such yeah. a brilliant wedding we day. We did, yeah. I don't think amazing. we would change it. it. We did actually, our wedding was in a magazine check us out um that's not a brag honestly but it's i can show you that actually in one of the it other was, vlogs it was a pretty niche local magazine wasn't it bristol and somerset wedding people buy that that's a that's a that's a, a popular magazine. <laughs> i know i wasn't denying that it is um, a factual publication <laughs> but yeah i can maybe show you that in i'm just saying it, was, it wasn't in like uk weddings of the year or whatever i personally think it was a uk wedding of the year um so i will it show was my you that favorite you... wedding that year <laughs> If you guys want to see that, Ian's not letting me get this sentence out. Should um, I go make I will, a coffee? I will show you. You're trying to get rid of me. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Only joking. Um, yeah, I can show you that in the Victoria in Detail vlog. Let me know if you want to see it and I will show you. Uh, Rachel says me and you are the 20th century Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> I don't think Mickey and Minnie like bicker as much as we do. Maybe they do behind closed doors. You just oh, don't can know. can you imagine? Oh, I'd love to be a fly on the wall. That would be amazing. Mickey and Minnie are having a domestic. Yeah, hearing a little Minnie and Mickey that argument. Incredible. That'd be quite funny. Um, Aoife, yes, there will be a quiz very shortly, actually. Mm, yes. I think Ian was In contemplating fact, making a drink. Shall I make the drink? Okay, cool. Do you want a drink? Then we'll do the quiz. Uh, no, actually, I've got a can of Coke here, so oh, I'm okay. okay, thank you. In fact, I might just get a cold drink. I don't think I want a tea or a coffee. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get a refill of my cold drink. Um, Heather is saying, back. how long have we been together? Is it 10 years? Yes, it was 10 years in February this year. Long time. If it was more like 20, only joking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Mickey is too happy all the time. Donald is more relatable. And Gina's saying, I bet Minnie is a shoe thrower. Could be. She could silently be, um, yeah, be quite sassy, quite feisty. I have, sorry, I'm back. I have always had suspicions that Mickey might be the victim of domestic abuse. I, I think that Minnie could be a bit of a... Don't say that. A bit of a meanie behind the No, doors. she's so lovely. Um... Congrats to 10. My wife and I have been together almost 30 years. Oh, that's amazing. That's Heather. Um, how do you feel about Disney cancelling all dining reservations? Um, I think they kind of needed to do that because they it goes hand in hand with the dining plan thing. So had they have cancelled dining plans, but then other people who didn't have dining plans could have, say, kept their reservations, that would have seemed quite unfair. So I think they've had to do it so that it's just back to square one and then when they implement the new system you can book 60 days in advance now obviously we're already within 60 days of disney's projected well no, it's not projected opening date now it is definite um so as soon as that system goes live anyone who had bookings that have been cancelled get priority so the people in july and august i guess will be able to get those reservations so i think they they kind of did the what they had to do there you know it's a difficult thing I've got a bone to pick with you. Me? Yeah. Oh no, what did I do? So, I've just seen in the kitchen, there's a pack of chocolate digestives that I was not made aware of. Oh, they they were not- Secret, the... secret digestives. How are they secret if they're right out there on the, the countertop? I think it was a lie of omission that you did not mention them to me. Nope, they have been there the whole mm. time. They have been there the whole time. I am not in, hiding biscuits. In future, I'd like to be informed when chocolate digestives are brought into the house. Noted. See, Ian's got his sassy pants on tonight. Um, uh, Pete says, did we catch the launch at all? Yes, we were mentioning yes, it earlier. It was we watched amazing. the launch, it was incredible. It was. Didn't get to watch any of the um, the docking today. but Yeah, we didn't yeah, see that. But we, that. we did see the launch and it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> Gina says, I need to open my pizza. Indeed, they were right there well, on the countertop. Were they though, or were they underneath several other things? It's like not everything like, on our countertop. It's not like they were in the back of the cupboard or something. Mm. 
See what I'm dealing with here? Amy says she bets Ian is a, a shoe thrower when he's got his sassy pants on. Yeah, I've never thrown real. a shoe at you. No, I mean, he hasn't. You have thrown Uno cards at me. I didn't throw them at you. That is a very, very important detail. I threw them and they went near your face. That's I mean, they went happened. in my face. But that that was not intentional. So that's an important detail. <laughs> oh, Michelle has a shirt that says, all my pants are sassy. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, Ian needs that shirt. Domestics are for her. I was thinking maybe he needed it. Hey! Excuse me, oh, I've not been... You Amy, started Amy's it. figured it out. You threw the cards and I was in the way, so I was at fault. Yes. Yeah, no, exactly. You're right. This this one's on me, definitely. Um, Cheryl was asking how the barbecue sauce from the degusta box was. I don't think you've really? tried it yet. Yeah, I have. Oh, you have? Yeah, yeah I've had loads of it. It's oh, brilliant. It's oh, there we go. I actually have had that one before, but I was really glad when I saw it was in the box because mm. it's really nice. Cool. Rachel's asking um, if they had the free breakfast included for September, will they get a 35% room discount? Um, if you booked from the UK, so through Walt Disney Travel Company, I think they're announcing anything that's going on shortly. So I think the 35% that's been announced so far might be for US guests, as I understand it. That's not to say there won't be anything for UK guests, but we don't know that yet. So uh, we'll have to see. Cam says, is it in a vlog where the cards were thrown, but not in Ian's face? <laughs> Very diplomatic way of asking that question, That Cam. part was not vlogged. I think it was mentioned. It was probably mentioned, mm. yeah. Someone's saying we're going to argue after the stream. We actually don't argue. We're no. quite boring like that. It's all banter. It's all banter. Yeah. Uh, we need to dare Ian to wear his sassy shirt on the first Disney trip. Yeah, for real. He definitely does. <laughs> um, details are coming tomorrow, Amy is saying, for UK guests. Mm. So if anyone has booked in the UK, hang in there till tomorrow and hopefully yeah, we'll be hearing something. Uh, Laura wants to know if we were ever sceptical about dating online. Uh, she loves our story. Um... I mean, I think bit. we were sceptical about certain sites or certain ways of yeah. going about it. There are some, like the apps and stuff that you get now, I know some of those oh, are a little... Yeah, like... I mean, we had, there was no Tinder, there was, I mean, there were no, no apps back when we were, when yeah. we were first meeting up. So, yeah, yeah, we were like old school, you fill out a big survey, you get matches, you message, and then eventually you actually meet up. Yeah. Um, so, no, I don't, we... I was sceptical about it insofar as I didn't think I was going to meet anyone, mm. but obviously I did, so great. Yeah, you talk to a few people at first and you're like, if this, yeah. is, if this is what's happening, this is not going to happen. I had one or two kind of less than brilliant matches Same. where I, where yeah. I like met up with them and it was like, mm, no, just no. Not, not really happening. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but it worked out, so... Yeah, Hooray. you definitely, when you first start, and some of my friends have done online dating and they're just like, oh my gosh, like some of the people. But then equally, you do meet some other people who are nice, they're just not for you kind of thing. But yeah, yeah. I married him anyway. I'm joking. That was a joke. <laughs> right, okay. Are we ready for the quiz? Yes, because MB Disney's just asked, Ian, what made you fall in love with Victoria? And I don't want to have to answer that, so. Hey, why not? That was r rude. Right, okay. Mainly that she puts up with me, frankly. <laughs> I don't I don't think there's anyone else that would put up with my nonsense. I mean maybe. To and, be fair. I mean that's not to say that she doesn't have nonsense. I was gonna say, own. yeah, that's probably yeah. the same the other way around. Um Oh Aoife's not feeling great. Oh no, Aoife. So she's gonna rest. Take care, Aoife. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon. Um uh, yes, this is from IKEA behind me. Yes, it's actually called the Mickey. It is, that's so weird. M-I-C-K-E, so you can search for that on the IKEA yeah, website. Yeah, it is called Mickey. They do two versions, one with this extra top bit and one that's just the bottom part. Yeah. So yeah, you can have a look at that. Justin saying they had a pandemic wedding with cars instead of seats. Awesome. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'd be like being at Sci-Fi Dining. Kind yeah, of that'd be amazing. Dream. I mean, um, obviously it's not amazing. No. Actually doing your wedding the way you wanted to would be amazing. Exactly. But that's a cool idea. Right, do you have something to write on? No, never do. No. Um, I where's think, the pad that Well, the usual off? one's not here, so you'll oh, have to use no. a different one. I mean, funnily enough, I do have multiple notebooks on hand. A million notebooks. Have this Erin Condren one. Okay. Should I have your moustache pen? Sure. Oh dear. Things I have an actual moustache, so this doesn't really... Okay, this book is actually quite heavily used, but I found you a page. Oh, thanks. Right. <laughs> so, Christy has just joined. We're just Hi, about Christy. to do the quiz, Christy. So that's good timing. Uh, oh, just going back to dating, Heather was saying we didn't have a computer at home when I met my wife. 
Had to use the phone. Yeah, Vintage. Wow. Crazy times. That is old school. Yeah. yeah. I sometimes remember when we first got the internet at home. That was a weird yeah. time. Remember it, the noises your modem used yeah, to make when you connected? I'm trying to think back because my brother was the one who was like, we have to get internet, we have to get internet. And I was like, what the hell? And so <laughs> did, was my mum Did he dad. tell you why? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say about James? He's just drawing him out. He's going to get mad. Um, I suspect yes, it was actually because so he wanted to play computer games online. It was, it was. He wanted to play computer games online, for real. But, yeah. Um, didn't have broadband till secondary school. Oh, my goodness. Dial-up tone, yeah, the dial-up tone is crazy times. <laughs> right, so this quiz is going to be, um, in case you missed it, based on the October 2016 trip, which is the trip that we are doing the current reaction vlogs. So that trip, I've been nice and quiz. I'm going to quiz you on an episode that you've already seen in this last oh, few. Oh, so I should be even more embarrassed when I get to Correct. five. Although I have put a couple of questions which may be a little bit tricky, even if you have just seen it. So mm. I made it difficult enough. Everyone in chat is just going down a nostalgic rabbit hole about dial-up internet yeah, now. Yeah, AOL dial-up. Like if someone tries to use the phone while you're on the internet. I just remember when I was in like secondary school, your parents would get so mad about you being on the phone because obviously you had a landline. So they'd pick up the phone to use it and you'd been on there for like two hours and they'd be like, hang up the phone, hang up the phone. And um, yeah, one of my boyfriends at school, his mum used to pull the um, the cord out the wall because she con I'd constantly hear her like, get off the phone, get off the phone. And eventually she'd just pull it out of the oh, wall. Oh, that's amazing. So funny. And you're saying, what's your BBM pin? Wow. Do you not remember that? No. Blackberry Messenger. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I loved Blackberry Messenger. Oh, Joe, Britannica Encyclopedia on CD-ROM. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Quiz. So, yes, 2016. And it is day two, part two. So, to be specific, um, it's the one where we are going around Epcot with the hens and stags. So, with the wedding okay. party, we're drinking around the world. It's an episode... So it's day before the wedding. Yeah, day before the wedding. You very recent. No, not day before the wedding. The day before the wedding was the one we just did where you have got all the um, errands that we're doing in the rehearsal dinner and stuff. That was the day before the wedding. Oh, okay. Ian's confusing people. It is the episode... <laughs> Sounds about right. ...where we're in Epcot drinking around the world with hens and stags. So everybody cast your mind back to last week, if you saw that vlog. Or 2016. Yes, or 2016 <laughs> if you haven't. So that's going to be harder. So are we ready? I'm just making sure everyone's ready. Most people are still talking about dialogue. Yeah, that's why I'm... Are you, guys, are you guys ready? Or do you need a minute to... Victoria's worked very hard on this quiz i have not well as hard as it is to do four questions but <laughs> i hope you did five not four uh yeah <laughs> oh dear right people are ready we're ready but also remember msn messenger yes okay <laughs> cool right let's do it let's go for it so this is a little bit of a hard question to start oh, off with geez. but you have met some of you will have just you seen meant this to, like, vlog. Ease us in. no because you've just seen this vlog right oh, you're just a fiend you've only you? just seen it as well so Question one, how many times did we say Kung Fu Punch? So you will remember in this episode, there is a little counter at the bottom of the screen where we kept saying Kung Fu Punch. So I kind of edited in a little counter. How many times did we say Kung Fu Punch? Was it A, four, B, five, or C, six? I knew those were gonna be the three options as well. Oh, you're the worst. Ian is like genuinely angry about that question. So some mainly okay. light out of two answers. Yeah, there's two answers that are much more popular. Mm -hmm. and I oh, guess, Cheryl's going. Bye, oh, Cheryl. Bye, Cheryl. I guess just for clarity, this is the final number that was shown on the Kung Fu Punch counter. Yeah. Even if perhaps later in the vlog you may have said Kung Fu Punch. Yeah, this is how many times... Just how, what was the highest number that the Kung Fu Punch counter showed, Exactly, right? yeah. Okay. Yeah, in that moment with the counter running, yeah. how many times? Because I certainly can't remember if you ever said Kung Fu Punch again after that. <laughs> I do love a Kung Fu Punch, though. Oh, no, Lorianne says my initial guess was at least ten. This is not going to go oh, well. Oh, dear. A lot of people guessing that it's five. <laughs> It does vary with that drink, actually, how strong it is, because I've seen cast members put a lot of alcohol, and then other times you get a bit of a stingy... 
alcohol moment, but overall it balances out. In general, the pours at Disney are pretty generous. Yeah, that is true. Especially if you go to um, the... Why has it gone out of my head? The bar at Ohana. Oh, Tambu Lounge. Yes. They, they are strong drinks there, for sure. Uh, Heather didn't see the number because they oh, were making meatballs during the You'll world. have to make a guess, Heather. At least it's multiple choice. Yeah. Uh, MB Disney also thought it was more than six. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Justin now wants a Kung Fu Punch. Me too. It should have been a Flower and Garden. We should have been able to get one. Actually, you can get them year-round. What am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> From Joy of Tea, right? Yeah. Amy Wise saying uh, she's at that weird age where can drink it drink here but not in disney that's very very weird isn't it i mean i'm gonna be honest amy i'm not gonna cry a river for you because you're very young and i'm jealous so stop moaning about being under 21 please. hey you know that is a bummer <laughs> i remember the first time i oh, went no, i get it i went to vegas when i was 20 years old that was probably one of the worst experiences of my life yeah ian's just being sassy when i went the first time i was 19 so i could drink in the uk it is entirely possible I may have drunk in the UK a little before I was 18, but... Um, what? <laughs> I, was what? I was 19, so I couldn't drink. And um, the person I was with turned 21 on that trip, so they were able to have a drink, and I couldn't. Yes, Amy says, illegal! Yes, I know. <laughs> My bad. It was, a, it was, it was very different like i think it's a bit stricter these days about i think i think possibly the drinking. statute of limitations on underage drinking may have passed in the intervening 20 plus hey. years <laughs> yes uh, ian is very sassy today well what is ian drinking tonight um it's actually just sprite yes so. just sprite we don't we don't drink on the live stream definitely not hey amy says what was it you said about clubbing slightly breaking the law yeah <laughs> it's it's not good is it but Oh no! Uh, Serena didn't get served in Vegas, even though they were twenty-seven, because they didn't have their ID. Wow! I got um, ID'd in Morrison's buying alcohol fairly recently. In fact, I think it was last year. So someone didn't have their glasses on that day. Amy says that's what fake IDs are for. I don't think that it is. Amy, I think fake IDs are for when you're underage, <laughs> not when you've just forgotten your ID. No, I think that's what Amy's <laughs> maybe talking about. Oh, I see. Yeah. Sorry, if I put two <laughs> comments together that don't belong. Right. Okay. Let's go for the answer. All right. Otherwise, let's do this it. will be the world's longest quiz when it's only five questions. So, how many times did we say Kung Fu Punch on the little counter? It was five. Yeah. Or five, if you prefer. Five. Got it. Nice. 100%. <laughs> uh, Justin is 28 and has never been ID'd. Never been wow. ID'd. Wow. I definitely have a lot of times. I found that pretty much the day I turned 18, which is the age you can drink here, I stopped getting ID'd. It was very yeah. annoying. I remember when I was of age of drinking and I would constantly forget to take my passport out <laughs> with me because that was before I had my driving license and my dad would drive it into town for me. <laughs> He'd All deliver the time. Your passport he would so deliver you my passport drink. so I could drink. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, if you can't be trusted to remember to bring your passport when you're sober, this is me. We're can you really about. be trusted to have your passport on you? This is me. We're talking about. Are you even remote? To... I've actually got better, if you can believe it. So, uh, Brandy's twenty six, and someone thought they were fourteen yesterday. What the heck, Brandy? That's weird. Yeah. Oh that's... my goodness. I mean, well done. I guess. Yeah, for sure. Ryan is 48 and wishes someone would ID them. Yeah, it's quite nice when I get ID'd these <laughs> days. It's very flattering. You told me a story from a little while ago where you got ID'd at the supermarket. And upon producing your ID and giving it to the yeah, cashier, they that's... just looked at it and went, oh, well done. That's when we lived in <laughs> um, uh, near London. You're right. Yeah, that was in the, in the Tesco there. So it wasn't that long ago. Uh, Joe got asked for ID and work while in uniform for a lottery ticket. <laughs> Joe is 36. Oh, that's hilarious. Although shorter than most 10-year-olds. Okay. And me, Disney, yes, I do always forget things. It's not good, is it, really? Mm. But there you go. Right. Should we go for question two? Sure. So it's this, all downhill from here This is me. quite a detailed question, but with this particular vlog, it was quite hard to not have detailed questions. Because it so wasn't... Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to hear your excuses for why the questions no, but are like, too hard. No, we didn't ride rides, did we? So it's not like, which ride do we do first? Or this or that. Like, There's different types of questions. So, whatever helps you sleep at night 
So one part of the vlog when we were in the America Pavilion, so that's when the hens and stags had met up to yes. see Tiffany singing. Um, I was talking to my friend Joe, and which country did Joe say was out of beer? So we were discussing how one of the countries he was saying was out of beer, so they had to get something else. Was it A, America, B, the UK, or C, Canada? So which of those countries did Joe say had run out of beer? Was it A, America, B, the UK, or C, Canada? Ian rolling his eyes. That's Ian's favourite look. Yeah, that. <laughs> or if you're saying something that Ian thinks is stupid, he goes like this. That. I hate that. That is literally like the the most annoying thing ever. It's something that I have had to try really hard to stop doing because it is actually subconscious. I don't do I, it on purpose. Yeah, I know you don't know you're doing it, but it's super annoying. But it's it's just my face of like confusion. It's just what 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 are you talking about? Yeah, it's like what are you want about it. It's like it's and I get that it's really it's really it's really rude. It's yeah. really rude. <laughs> but I don't do it on purpose. I know, I know, I know you don't. But equally, I'm I'm like don't make that face. I hate that. <laughs> okay, so there's some guesses. Uh, Heather reckons we were separated at birth because they do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the answer to the first one was five. Oh, MB Disney reckons that they've spotted a little trick, but I would say don't trust that. No, because he might have known before. No, because then you wouldn't know the options. Well, look, what MB Disney is saying is that when you said America, right. one, I wrote. Oh, okay. But I can assure you that I did not. Are you trying to give people... No, I'm not I'm not saying that I haven't answered America, but I had heard all three options when I wrote my answer. Michelle, um, the stream stalled, so what was the second question? The second question is, when I was talking to my friend Joe in the America Pavilion, we were discussing how one of the countries was out of beer, or more specifically, he was telling me one of the countries was out of beer. Was it A, America, B, the UK, or C, Canada, that was out of beer? <laughs> And Megan makes a good point that perhaps I just remembered the answer and wrote it down before hearing the options. True. And Amy makes the extremely valid point <laughs> that you shouldn't go by what my answers are anyway. That is a true story. Yeah. Ian, Ian with his uh, average of, what are you, two or three? I know, yeah, I'm between two and three. Yeah, so yeah. don't be listening to, to Ian's ones. It's or like, Ra Rachel has to go, bye, bye Rachel. Rachel. It's like when you're in school, if you're going to sit next to someone and copy their test, make sure you pick the right person. Yeah. Not like, that I am advocating doing that, but... You no. know, if you do. From what I understand, if people were going to copy someone at school, they probably didn't want to copy you. No, true. That is a story checks out. <laughs> <laughs> is Gareth here? He's the one to copy. I don't know if Gareth and Claire are here, actually. I haven't seen them tonight. MB Disney says, Ian, are you in a good mood tonight? <laughs> oh, actually, no, you are in a good mood, I say. Oh, you are in a good mood. Yeah, yeah no, I, I kind of am. I've actually been in a, like, a bit of a rotten mood the last couple of days. Yeah, you've had a... After I got ill on Friday. You I don't know. I've rough. had a bit of a... Bit of a Weekend, oh yeah, Gareth's here. Hi Gareth. Hi Gareth. But yeah, I am in a good mood now, yeah. so that's good. It's all you folks. Yes. You cheer me up. Yeah, exactly. My laptop is it's about to really take off, isn't making it? making a lot of noise back there. Is it exporting or something? I don't know. No. Because it quietened down earlier, it stopped and now yeah. it's started again. It needs fixing. It's got a mind of its own. So, we're ready for the answer. Oh no, Claire's offended that we called out Gareth but not her. She's here too. <laughs> Hi Claire. Sorry Claire. <laughs> you you just you know you haven't built up this reputation for epic cheating. Yeah. So. Um. Right. Okay. So question was which country was out of beer? It was C Canada. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. So MB Disney, your strategy was incorrect. Oh dear. You don't uh -oh. need to sound so happy about that. Daisy says hashtag geezer laugh. Yeah, get that geezer laugh away from me. <laughs> so some one out of two, two out of two. I'm not seeing many zero out of two, so that is good. If you have got zero out of two, don't worry, there's still time to... There's always time. Bring it back, yes. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any zeros out of two, but maybe people are withholding that information. Mm. Claire says two out of two, and then there's an asterisk next to the two. I wonder if there's some caveats coming with that, <laughs> or is it just out of two so far? <laughs> Laurie says, on behalf of all of Canada, I apologise. Unacceptable. It is. Absolutely what the heck? I know. Running out of beer at the Food and Wine Festival. I mean, that would be like the UK Pavilion running out of football hooligans or something. Or football equivalent. shirts or something. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, every Disney says, Ian, my hubby thinks you're an awesome person. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I agree. I, I like to think so too. <laughs> okay. Canadians love to apologise and Laurie just proved it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Question three. Tom's got five out of two, which is quite impressive. Well done, Tom. It's that... going to give Gareth a run that for his money. That is very impressive. <laughs> anyway, Maybe sorry. Maybe he just did the them the other way around. Oh, then... that's also possible. Yeah. I was, I was reading way too much into it. <laughs> so, question three. The shirt Ian was wearing that day featured a retro game character. Which character was it? I was know it, this. I know, Ian's got a bit of an advantage here, but still. Was it A, Frogger, B, Pac-Man, or C, Duck Hunt? See, I've paused before writing anything yep. to hear all the answers. So Ian's shirt featured a retro game character. Was it A, Frogger, B, Pac-Man, or C, Duck Hunt? Pac Hunt. <laughs> Seems to be a general consensus on that one. People seem to remember. Weirdly, I couldn't ask an ear question because that was back in the day when I didn't used to wear mini ears. You will notice oh, that trip. Oh my goodness. I didn't wear them at all until I think. What were you thinking? I don't know what maniac. I was thinking. What absolute craziness is that? I think I started wearing them in like May 2017 and then I never looked back. But... Amy says, blasphemy. Yeah. Ian had beer eyes. <laughs> I, yeah. A lot of them did, Amy. It was pretty crazy. No one was, like, falling down drunk because no. that's not nice in a, like, park. Like, at Epcot, that's not cool, is it? Although some people do. But I have to say, I don't see that a lot. I do hear a lot of people saying that they see it, but I've never witnessed too many people no. falling down drunk in Epcot. But... No, I've not seen people, like, properly drunk. No. But we, we certainly were having a good time. Yeah. In a... In an orderly fashion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think, to be honest, the girls were probably more rambunctious than the boys were. Yeah, no one was, you like, were, really were drunk, though. congratulating Libby for picking up trash with a grabber hand. That on. is true. That did happen. Um, Laura's saying it's because I didn't have a shop then. Yes, that's true, Laura. <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah, I just... You'll notice that entire trip. I'm not wearing ears on any... Oh, no. Amy says... They saw someone being sick into a bin in Future World before. No, Amy, that is oh, horrendous. Oh, my word. Oh, gross. Not cool. Oh, I'd have to give someone side eye if I saw them doing that. I'd yeah. be like, really now? Like, go to a bathroom. I was once, once when I was in Vegas, I was on the casino floor and I saw someone run over to a trash can, throw up in it, and then they turned around and I realised it was one of the per people that I was there with. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nasty. It was nasty. Um, Joe was saying, what was the question? <laughs> the question was, Ian's shirt featured a retro game character in that vlog. Was it A, Frogger, B, Pac-Man, or C, Duck Hunt? On that day, I was drinking peach bellini. Yes, I was. And actually, um, it was the um, Via Napoli pizza window that I got that bellini mm. from. That's the best place to get a bellini, but it's not always open. But if you have the choice of getting it from there. Amy's saying me and my mum tutted loudly, the most British way of expressing disgust. Yeah. Exactly. We Standard. love to do that in the UK. Oh, yeah. Know. God forbid anyone would ever actually say anything. Yeah. A, a good tut here and there. Uh, Gina wanted the answer to number two. It was C. I forget what C actually was. Oh, the question. Oh, it was Canada. Oh, Canada was C. C for Canada yeah. that had run out of beer. Oh no, Shannon is saying that um, she threw up outside Planet Hollywood in Disneyland Paris. Oh, no. However, it wasn't alcohol related. In that case, Shannon, yeah, that is that's not your fault. Fine. Yeah. People vomiting for non alcohol, non self induced reasons, I've got no problem with if that. If you can't help it, I feel that bad is... for you. Yeah. But um, yeah. Yes. If it's the other, then you've got yourself to blame. <laughs> 
Disney has code for people getting sick. It's protein spill. Oh. <laughs> Nasty. Too many kung fu punches. Uh, right, okay, are we ready for the answer? Seems like we probably we are. are. We've, we've run out of answers coming in. So, the... Sorry, let me just get my, my thought, gather my yeah. thoughts. It was the retro t The retro game character featured on Ian's shirt was B, Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. Three out of five. How about that? Nice. Oh no, Sarah was sick on herself on the Kraken ride at SeaWorld. Ooh, oh, that is brutal. Sucks. That's horrible. Ugh. Oh, Cam was sick after their first Tower of Terror ride. Oh dear. Not from motion sickness, but just from adrenaline. Oh my goodness. Blimey. Quite a lot of people with three. <laughs> Laura has a drunk photo pass of me on the Frozen ride after drinking around the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gina's oh, yeah. on four marks. Nice. Wow. Yep, Gina, I'm rooting for you to get full marks, and Amy's rooting for Ian to get a five yeah, out of five. It's not going to happen, Amy. So. Yeah, what are you on? No, you're on three. I'm on three out of three, yeah. but it's still not going to happen. I don't know. You might. You might. Mm. These are recent blogs that people might have seen, so we might be okay. Right, moving on. Well, they're not recent blogs, but yeah, I get what you mean. People have seen them seen recently. Seen them recently, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, that was not clear. <laughs> moving on. Oh, I sound like the guy out of Vicar of Diddley. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, question four. Okay, let me just word this properly because, again, it's a bit wordy. So, while I was going around the world with the girls, we stopped to drink our drinks and got moved on from our trash can. Which country were we in when we got moved on from our trash can? I know this Was well. it A, Italy, B, Germany, or C, Morocco? So, when we were drinking on top of a trash can... And we got moved on by the cast member because they needed to empty it. Which country were we in? A, Italy, B, Germany, or C, Morocco? I think I've got this right. Mm. Do you know what? I think I might have made this a bit easy because a lot of people are getting them all right. Oh, look at you trying to devalue my full marks. I, I'm just, oh, I'm just saying. It's too easy. That's I'm the just only saying. You got more right. If a lot of people are getting a lot right, then maybe that's true. But then it's nice to have a slightly easier quiz. A lot of the time, people say it's too hard, so hmm. you know, got to mix it up with one that's not too bad. Amy says I'm doing great. Yes, Thanks, Amy. You are. You are. They're not easy questions. I'm just awesome at quizzes. Okay. That's what it is. I think my fan again. It's really hot. I think it's this ring light that... Oh, now it's getting stuff in the paper. I think it's this ring light I think it's also the fact that we had to close the window because it's so noisy outside. Yeah. Ryan's saying trash can equals Epcot table. 100%. Yeah, there seems to be a general consensus of the answer. Gareth thinks I'm cheating. I mean, I mean Gareth, don't judge pot, everyone by your own pot standards. Pot kettle black. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, sorry. Dear. Don't slice up the questions. <laughs> no, it does, don't worry, Amy, you're not ruining the question. Can't help but think about the gift we received from Oh, I other. think I already mentioned that anyway. Yeah, that was so weird. <laughs> Also, Julady, you have to know that your uh, comment got moderated. Oh dear. Let's not <laughs> let's not even go down that, that road. That made me chuckle. But yeah. Anyway. But this is a family channel, so let's not get down that road. Daisy um, says I would never cheat. No. I wouldn't. No, she means I would never cheat. Yeah, I know. Cheat. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Outrageous. Oh, okay. Except I did hear when you were um Younger, Monopoly, you used to cheat. Look, when I was a kid... I have been told that. I, I would win at all costs. Cheating was totally a legitimate strategy. Mm. Um, Excuse my wind machine hair happening as well. I just had to use my fan. <sighs> okay. I think... <laughs> yeah, that's true, Amy. And Amy, yes, your comment also did get moderated. Of course. Lucy says Monopoly is serious. Yeah, it is. I also took winning very seriously. It is if it's Ian and my dad at Christmas, the the family game of Monopoly every year. Always, me and my mum get bored, lose on purpose, and then go and oh, drink. Oh, here we go. Jenny's here to draw me out. Oh, no. Ian's past record would show otherwise. Jenny, that's harsh. Look, when he was younger... I don't deny that I, yeah. I was a cheater for many years at games because it was the only way I could win, and I was only cheating myself. 
I do not cheat anymore. No, he doesn't, to be fair. I'm a very principled and moral gamer now. He is, he is. Amy says, annoy Ian by getting an innocent comment moderated. Success once again. Yeah. Damn you, Amy! Do I play any games other than Animal Crossing? No. I don't think I would have the time. Whether or not, when I get my Animal Crossing island to, like, a point that I like it, I might play a little bit less and try something else, but I can't see that happening, if I'm totally honest. Mm. Heather says, Ian, that's surprising me, because you're so sweet and seem like such a genuine guy. <laughs> uh, I mean... Jenny will be here to draw him out again yeah, in a second exactly. and say like, that he's I, not... I like to think that I am sweet you're and not. a genuine guy now. Whether you were When, when I was younger, younger I, can't speak I for that. may have been a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, may have. I don't know. I didn't know you then. But he certainly isn't now. No. Definitely was. <laughs> Right. Do right. you think we're ready for an answer? I think we are. I think I've got this right. I'm okay. very excited. So when we stopped for a drink and got moved on from our trash can, which country were we in? It was A, Italy. Oh, yeah. You were correct. Libby had a Prosecco and... Oh, marks. Some other drink that yeah. I can't even remember. I think the though. phrase that was being looked for was double parked. Yes. Rather <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> four out of four. Oh, there's so much pressure on this last question. Not everyone has got four out of four, so it no, can't be that No, but I easy. have. That's you why have. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking away from your four out of four. A lot four. of people do have four out of four. So Amy's got four out of four. Carolyn, Gina, Sinead, mm -hmm. uh, Danique, and Aoife. Oh, nice. you're still here, Aoife. Oh yeah, Aoife. I thought you'd had to go lie down. Maybe, Maybe you're still watching. Maybe Aoife was just saying she wasn't feeling good. Uh... I think. Aoife, I do think that this is because I watched the video last week. I think that's the only reason that I can remember. I'm not going to lie. I think that might, if, if you were doing this from memory in 2016, I'm doubtful that... Yeah, yeah. agreed. Not to take it away from you, mm. but... Uh, Cam's also got four marks, and Michelle. Gareth has, of course. Of course. Lucy's got four marks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> four. <laughs> like it. Okay. Uh, Claire, what was the answer? It was A, Italy. Yes, A, Italy was the answer. Danique is cheering me on. I'm yeah. bound to get this last one wrong now. This is probably going to be the hardest one for oh, you. Oh, dang it. But I still think you'll get it. Okay. Okay, let's go for question five. Question five is a yes or no answer. So not oh, wow. multiple choice. Well, it's multiple choice as in yes or no. Question five. <laughs> to make that a bit more confusing. <laughs> Well, I, it was factually correct what I was saying. Right, you just be quiet. I'm I'm giving the questions here. <laughs> Question five: Did I have a drink in the UK pavilion? Yes or no? So did I personally have a drink in the UK pavilion? As in, did you purchase yes no? a drink there, or did you drink anything while you were there? In the vlog, did I have a drink? Yes or no? I'm not asking about anything were, okay. that wasn't shown in the vlog. Were you no, but were you? Do you mean were you in possession of a drink while in the UK pavilion? Yes. Right. Okay. Did I have a drink? Is anyone else finding this question as hard as Ian is? No, no, no. Because did there's, I have a drink? There's I have a drink, as in I I have one in my possession, mm -hmm. and there's I have a drink, as in I have a drink like I bought it there. Did I have a drink in the UK pavilion? Yes or no? Lucy's like, Ian, it's an easy question. <laughs> I could have sipped someone else. Yeah, yeah, to be clear, me, do, did I have a drink? No, no, no. Whether yeah. or not I no, bought I... it in the UK pavilion sure. is neither here nor there. Okay, that's, that's what I was confused about, because to me there is a difference between buying a drink in Paris, sorry, in France pavilion, the French pavilion, and then bringing it into the UK pavilion and drinking it. There's a difference between that and buying and drinking the drink in the UK pavilion. That is why specifically the question was, did I have a drink yeah. in the UK pavilion? Okay, we're, we're, we're going to agree to this. Amy thing. thinks that you need help, and um, Daisy says, come on in, it's an easy one. And Rebecca says she wasn't confused until you started talking. So... <laughs> well, I'll just go then, shall I? <laughs> Fine. But yes, specifically what I mean is, in the vlog... Do you see me with a drink yeah, in the UK okay. pavilion? Yeah, okay, that's clearer. That's yes. Clearer. 
So it's nothing to do with whether I bought it in that pavilion <laughs> or anything else. Casey is with me. Thought you meant purchased. Ha. Ha. So good job. This is the last question. Yes. Question <laughs> five. Did I have a drink in the UK pavilion? Yes or no? Ian is very argumentative. Tell me about it, MB Disney. Gina says, are you sure it's Sprite in that mug, Ian? It actually is. I'm, I am sorry you guys are having to witness this, but not that sorry, because I have to live with it, so... <laughs> Look, if we're going to start getting into what we each have to live with, then that might not be a door that you want to open. If only that were true for you. Jenny's, Jenny, help me out here. Who is the one who has to put up with stuff around here? <laughs> Laura says the sass is strong with this one. <laughs> Which of us are you talking about, Laura? Mm. I think we all know who we're talking about. MB Disney says poor Victoria. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. To be fair, I can hold my own, so don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> it is Sprite, I can definitely... Yeah. Uh... Sprite with a double shot of sass. <laughs> MB Disney, I hope you mean laughing his head off. Yeah, MB <laughs> Disney just said my hubby is launching his head off. I assume you mean I laughing. I hope not. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Amy, I do give as good as I get. So Absolutely. don't anyone feel too bad for me. <laughs> Jenny's not taking sides. Jenny, I'm disappointed about that. Blood is thicker than water, Jenny. Don't worry, Jenny. I know whose side you would take if you could uh, do that. Um, okay. To be fair, Jenny had to endure me at my worst for many years. I was going to say, yeah, who are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny would 100% side with me. Should we do she an answer, my darling? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. So. Did I have a drink in the UK pavilion? No, I did not. Oh, for... I did not. I won't lie, by that point I had already had quite a few. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to watch that vlog. And okay. frame by frame to see whether you were ever in possession of a beverage. Okay, if I'm wrong, I will, um, what will I do? I mean, the reality is that I don't care enough. No. But I'm a bit annoyed that I didn't get full marks. But it was no. In the UK pavilion, you basically saw us, um, with a band. Yeah, I thought you had a drink in your hand. I did not. No. Um, Libby was given the trash picker-upper thing. I think that was in Canada, just in front of the refreshment yes. port. Yeah. So close. Four out of five. The quest for full marks continues. Isn't four out of five a personal best, though? That is a personal best. Yeah, so, so let's not. I'll, I'll take that. that. It's I, worth celebrating. I've got a rogue bit of hair this live stream that is just not. It's just not. I love you just try and like sweep it under the rug. So to I speak. really am. I'm just like, get just away. Like, go away. Go from away. My face. <laughs> oh, dear. Trying to, he's trying to be nice now. Yeah, that was a sarcastic being nice, by the way. But. Yeah, yeah, no, I wasn't trying to be nice at all. I was absolutely being sarcastic. Amy says you get an extra point for top-notch banter, so you're good. Oh, okay. Still got five. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no, Heather's too embarrassed to give her score. Oh, Yikes. no. Hey, look, it's the taking part that matters. If that's true. And not yeah. how stupid the questions were. Ian will be doing the questions on Tuesday. Oh, I so forgot about that. we'll see how stupid the questions are then. <laughs> Is there a way that I can formulate questions that will be very easy for these folks and very difficult for you not i don't really. think there is is there no not really daisy thinks i should get an extra point for my hashtag geese laugh yeah true maybe oh joe's eaten an entire punnet of frozen grapes during the quiz and now has a belly uh -oh. oops i mean it could be worse you could have eaten like chocolate or something surely that's worse yeah i mean well health wise i suppose i feel like frozen grapes are like not the worst thing yeah um, Amy says she should do the questions. <laughs> I feel like they could be oh, favouritism, though. That's the problem there. Oh, really? Uh, Tara wants to know what the quiz is going to be on. Tara, do you really think that I've even, for a moment, considered yeah. what I'm going to do the quiz questions on two days in advance? I don't even know what I'm doing after we're done with this stream, let alone what I'm doing for Tuesday. Yeah. The so, non-sassy so no. answer is he doesn't know. <laughs> Do not know. <laughs> Joe ate chocolate this morning. Like it. You would think that the fruit would be morning and chocolate would be in the evening, but, you know, mix it up. I don't know, you were watching that um, Jane Austen thing the other day and uh, they were having chocolate for breakfast, weren't they? Oh, they were. Chocolate and green tea. It's a bit weird, isn't it? 
Um, does Ian have his own YouTube? No, he does not. I don't think he'd have time. I mean, I do have 136 subscribers. You do? Yeah, you do, actually. So, so. that's that's true. Um, Cam is off. Bye, Cam. Bye, Cam. We'll probably wrap up pretty soon. Yes, I think so. If you've got any burning questions, let us know. Yeah, if anyone has anything... That Amy they, G um... is absolutely correct. Chocolate is for any time of the day. That's, that is true. That is true. True fact. Yes. Um, yeah, let us know if there's any last minute questions we will have another live stream on tuesday so gina was also thinking it might be good if the audience wrote the questions and me and you both give answers mm. maybe in fact i'll tell you what mm. no don't do one of your things where you ah. say that we'll do something and then it's like not no but it's something that's going to reduce effort for me <laughs> ian's not getting I'll, out of it i'll have a think about this yeah. I think there is a way that we could have you do questions for us. We'd maybe have to do a random draw to pick five people in advance, and then those people would just come on the chat and ask their question when it's there. We'll thing. figure that out, but Tuesday, Ian, will be doing the well, questions. Well, unless I figure this out by Tuesday, no. and then I don't have to write any questions. No. You are writing questions. Uh. We'll see. Um, yeah, Gina's saying you could maybe have questions and we'll just like, uh, rather than like a structured quiz, you guys can just, like, as oh, you do, yeah, ask yeah, us yeah. questions yeah, about yeah, yeah. our own vlogs we'll and see compete. if we can answer them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Ian will do the quiz for, like, the actual quiz for Tuesday. But if you guys want to ask us questions on our vlogs that you have, like, basically the same thing, then mm. feel free. Feel free. Claire's telling me not to be lazy. Yes, All thank right, you, Claire. then. Fine. But but you guys definitely can ask us questions and we will Yeah. Um, we can maybe do it as like a second round after the main quiz, yeah. then people could Yeah. Test us. <laughs> oh I hi think, Taylor. Hi Taylor. I think I'm probably testing you enough at the moment, aren't I? Yes, well quite. You know, I didn't like to say, I was being polite. Um <laughs> Were you though? I think I've been very polite. <laughs> Amy says, I'll tell you what you're doing after this stream, taking those sassy pants off. Yes, let's, <laughs> let's hope, let's hope. <laughs> um, so I'm just reading if there's any more last minute comments, questions, anything. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to try and wrap up. Rachel saying, the stream has been the highlight of her day. I'm glad. Aww. Amy thinks I might be sleeping in the garden. That's problematic, Amy, because we do not have a garden. Oh, we've got a balcony, so that, that works too. Um, I would love to sleep on the balcony. Yeah, it'd be nice and cool. Actually, it'd be really cool. Yeah. Um, have you ever been on Tom Sawyer Island? No, actually, no, I haven't. never done that. How crazy is that? In 18 visits yeah. to Disney World, I have never, ever done that. That's so weird. And Aoife, um, I don't have any advice um, on what you were asking, but I really, really hope you are okay and yeah. you managed to get some advice on that. Maybe seek out some medical advice i'm not good with medical advice but definitely um i hope you are on the mend or are on your way to being on the mend uh gene says is there anywhere in the world you guys would like to visit that you've never been before not disney or theme park related um yeah for sure i definitely want to go to italy because i haven't been yet i really really want to do that um and there's loads of places in italy i really want to do florence and verona Rome would be good. Mm. So that's probably the top of my list, other than um, obviously going to Disney and California to go to Disney, but that's Disney and you said not Disney. <laughs> so Italy for me. How about you? Um, uh, moth, oh. moth. All right. It's oh, okay. Oh my God. I hate them. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I don't know, but it, What's that? it got on me. Okay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I think it's gone. I hate moths a lot. You I don't say. I stand them. I think people have figured that out. Um, I I would like to go to Tavistock in Ontario in the first weekend of June. That's specific. Yes. Yes. If you were not too sure, Ian was supposed to be going for his crocodile tournament. And he's very sad about it. I was meant to be flying on Thursday. <sighs> Maybe next year. Maybe I'll get to go next year. I've got year. my finger stuck in this pen. Um, no, we... such a child. Oh my it's actually goodness. stuck. Like actually, okay, take oh, it, okay. take it away from me. Um, Serena's saying, "Don't kill it." No, don't worry, we don't do that. Ian will probably have to catch it though. 
Um, People are calling me out for laughing at you. I mean, what yeah, was I? What was I that. supposed to do? Amy saying moths or fish. Fish are the worst. One hundred percent. Amy thinks it's time for bed for me. Yeah. Hey, I've been good on yawning tonight. You have. That's very true. Mm. Do I eat fish? Absolutely not, Amy. <laughs> I've never. It's a hard no. I've actually never eaten even a fish finger in my entire life ever. I hate them. I don't mind catching them in Animal Crossing because they're not real and they're you worth it. You still don't love me. it. No, I hate when I catch an oarfish. It genuinely like distresses me. But yeah, fish is yucky. Yes, Daisy, <laughs> it is. A hundred percent. Right. So I think we're going to wrap up now. So we are going to see you all on Tuesday. Yes. By then, we may have heard some information or further information about Disney's opening, about yep. the um, new system to get into the parks, about UK guests. We will obviously discuss anything that we do know by then. So fingers crossed Definitely. we have some more info. And we should have some updates on Animal Crossing in detail. Yes, there so may even be a video by then. polluting this channel with all your Animal Crossing updates. Yes, if anyone is um, looking for information on when that channel is available, what I will do as soon as I've uploaded some content on there, I will link it over on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, it's Victoria in detail. And I will post over there. I'll probably put it on my Disney in detail as well, just in case people yeah. only follow me there. And I'll you put might a link. post something on Victoria in detail on Facebook as well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. normally goes on both. And I'll put a link so that you can go over and subscribe and watch those videos. Yeah. So, yeah. If it gets very popular, maybe it'll have its own live streams before too long. Never know. You never know. Never say never. I would consider switching, <laughs> switching, um, <laughs> from the lights to the regular switch to it makes stream. Makes streaming a lot easier. Um, so it? we'll see how it goes if there's a demand for it and if people are enjoying it. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed yeah. this live stream. I oh, definitely very have. quickly. Eva's makes a very good point that the oarfish is gone as of tomorrow. Yeah, I've already of the season change. I've caught loads of those things so yeah make sure you get it for your museum isn't there like a bunch of sharks now there will be sharks there's yes. going to be sharks which will probably be equally as scary is the vr still happening yes yes it's happening Amy, tomorrow so it is tomorrow night at 8 30 there is an event set up in the live streams group within mm -hmm. the victoria in detail facebook page so if you just go on facebook and search for victoria in detail then go to groups, you'll see a live stream group mm -hmm. and there'll be an event in there and we will post the link as soon as we go live. Yes. And we will um, be having a look around the Magic Kingdom. So I'll be using the VR to look around Magic yeah. Kingdom and maybe some of other Disney as well, but definitely the Magic Kingdom. Mm. And um, Kathleen, the Zoom calls are on Saturday, right? Yes, Saturday the 6th. Saturday the 6th of June is the Zoom call. Uh, so yeah, we will see you there. And yes, Amy, we will go to Country yes. Bears as much as close as we can get to it. We did promise. Um, so we will see you then. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because that way you know about the streams when they're coming yes. up. I think you get prior notification. You get a thirty-minute warning, I think, because yeah. it popped up on my phone. Yeah. So yeah. As long as you've got the bell icon clicked, yeah. I think. Hit yeah. that bell. That's so sad when people say that, but it is true. <laughs> it is true. It's important. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Hit the bell. All that stuff. Yes. So thanks for joining us. Yes. I hope everyone's well. Hope everyone is staying safe and everything. I know things are starting now to change in terms of this lockdown, which is all kinds of different things. Scary, confusing, weird, all of the above. So I hope everyone is okay and we will see you again on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Amy says smash that like button. Yeah. That's it. Smash the like button. What, I know. What is that? What is that? Right. <laughs> we'll see you we'll guys see on Tuesday. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye. Bye.